everybody. Welcome back to It Court Apart. Uh, my name is Vaughn. I am the Dungeon Master. And uh, we are playing in my homebrew Fey world. Uh, if you see me looking over here, that's because my players' videos are over here. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's... Uh, introduce ourselves. Let's start with um, our newest player, Maquette. I knew you were going to say that. God damn it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Maquette. I hate intros. Um, Let's talk about I'm your new. character. My character will be a kobold, and their name oh. is going to be Larva. And we'll, uh, you know, get to know them over the course of the next episode. All right. And next is Jeff. Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm playing Ein Sama Dadrok, a dragon blood hunter, golden dragon blood hunter. And last but certainly not least, Kat. Hey, my name is Kat. Uh, I'm playing Galaxia Amon. Uh, mm -hmm, I can pronounce my own last name. <laughs> uh, Amanadel? Mm hmm. I think I haven't said that in a while. Yeah. Uh, I am a bar druid mostly because i don't know anything about being a druid and i wanted to learn i'm a wood elf and i have a different accent which you'll find out soon cool. i'm also coming to you from the magical land of my living room <laughs> <laughs> and that's that and uh what happened last time uh, well last time we got some good intel on who was probably responsible for stealing the dagger in the first place. And it was two um, fall court uh, beings who uh, were hired for some reason because the spring court has really crappy staff. <laughs> <laughs> Scabs. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and so they, um, were the ones who stole it. So we went out, uh, on a journey to find them. Oh, and we lost, uh, one of our, our bandmates. Uh, yeah. she got called away to some very important duties. So hopefully she'll be able to come back and help us. But now we're traveling the Fey world all on our own. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure, I'm sure nothing bad will come of that. Yeah, as Roz That's would say, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, fine. Fine. <laughs> so we we uh, were a little sad that she had to go, but understood. Uh, we hope she's okay. And then we we started our journey to the fall court and on the way it was pretty uneventful until we got to a bridge where we heard there was a bridge troll coming so we ran yes. but then for some reason oh the bridge troll got sad because he missed <laughs> us <laughs> and then we felt bad so we turned around and we interacted with him and then it turns out he was the troll who <laughs> stole the dagger so we got some intel yeah. <laughs> what a world, what a world. We know it's Arian. We know uh, it's his fault. So now we're off to try to get it. We're off to get the dagger. The wonderful dagger of fall court. No. <laughs> summer. The wonderful dagger of summer. <laughs> we hear it is a daggity dag, a diggity daggy dag. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, so yeah, you all are in the fall court now. You just spoke with Gregor the Troll, uh, who pretty much told you everything. Um, not not a very uh, good secret keeper, Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know, were, were you guys looking to talk to the other guard too, or do you feel like you have everything you need? Uh, I think we're good. What do you think? Pally. Galley. Oh, wait, are you Galley? No, I'm Galley. You're Pally. No. No, I'm Galley, oh, like my name. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yes, <laughs> and I'm your pal. So, okay. Yeah. So you're yeah, Pally. Yeah, what do you think, Pally of Galley? Well, I mean, I, I think that we've got enough to go find it. 
to to head over to uh, the castle and we know where it is. If we happen upon the other guard, we might still be able to find out some uh, good information, but I don't think it's worth seeking it out. Okay. What do Sounds you think? Good. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Well. Um, sorry, I need to sneeze. <laughs> it's distracting me. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're allowed to sneeze. But it's not coming. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, let's let's head to the fall court. Yes. All right. So you consult the map that has the uh, the route to the castle already outlined that Roz did. Um, and uh, you you go off into the forest. Do we link arms and skip? <laughs> if you want absolutely. to. We absolutely do that. Okay. <laughs> and Summer's wearing a lot of armor, so his skipping is more like clomp, clomp, yeah. clomp, clomp. <laughs> and I think I'm uh, quite a bit smaller than you, so when I link your arm, I'm I'm probably just sort of standing on one of your legs. <laughs> yeah, and he has to like, go like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really, he's just carrying you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we go for a few steps and then we decide against it. Yeah. And then I, I hoist you up and put you on my shoulders like a kid. <laughs> and then I stand on your shoulders and do a flip onto the ground because I'm my own woman, goddammit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just trying to be nice. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> I was just teasing. And uh, I th you guys had horses, right? Horses and a, and a cart? Right. Yes, yeah. we did. Yeah. So as you are, so I'm not going to make you do the uh, survival checks since you have the horses and cart. Um, I'll just make it easier for you to travel. It's a it's a road, like it's not like you're wandering through the forest. Uh, specific like not on a path. Um, it's a it's a dirt road, but it's a road. Um. And uh, you 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 walk along quite a ways, and then you hear a pop above you. I'm sure that's nothing. <laughs> Not sure that's nothing. Um, a pop. Yes. We look up, <laughs> or at least I do. Yeah, I'll look up too. And as you look up, you see a kobold fall from the canopy. Oh no! And he lands in your cart. Hey, oh, hello oh, there. Been there. Yeah, all right. All right. So, <laughs> okay. Do I do a voice? Yes or no? If you probably should have thought of that fifteen minutes ago. But if you want to do a voice. So you ju you guys just see like this little like mass just wriggling around in like the blankets in the cart and just like trying to find its way out and it's just like hey what's going on here yeah right what he, he just I mean out and it's like I one hundred percent knew that that was the voice you were gonna use <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Stitch <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I reach out and kind of like try to disentangle you from the blankets and stuff. Just like, hey, buddy, how'd you end up in our cart? Appreciate it. I have no idea. Oh, shit, it is Stitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um. <laughs> kind of finish getting you out of there and I'm like, what do you mean you have no idea? <laughs> okay, okay. I was in house. The tree. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was in house. Okay. I was praying to Glibrap. Okay. Sure. And then I'm here. <laughs> oh. In the fall court. What's that? That's where where we are. In the Fey land? This is great. In the Fey land? What do you is, say? This is forest. Aye, I, I, that's, that's true. We are in the forest. What is, what is Fey? Oh boy. <laughs> oh. oh, 
they're like the fairy creatures. This is their home. We sort of ended up here too. So I'm guessing that I don't know how, but maybe somebody sent you to help us. Give me like this. And he pulls out like this ratty manga book that has like fake creatures in it. Uh, yes! Yeah. Like yeah. that. <laughs> we would have had one with us so it would be easier to explain, but uh, she had to go. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> They're mischievous what, like the stories. What's your name? Yeah. Ah, it's Larva. Larva. Your, n- your Larva. name is Larva? Larva. Nice. I eat that. Well, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, wait, what? He eats yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's my favorite food. You That's how we name ourselves. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> well, nice to meet you, Larva. I'm I'm Summer. I'm uh, Galatia, but we're going, we gotta go by, okay, here's your first lesson. You can't tell anyone here what your real name is, because of something. I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's a rule they have. So, I'm going it's by like something. Yeah. So, you just broke the rule. Well, but you're not Faye. You don't even know what that is. You thought we were somewhere else. You don't tell a Faye your real name. Because then they can use it to, like, own you or control you or something. I'm a little fuzzy as well. That's fucked up, man. And you can't say, like, I am this. You gotta say, like, call me baby or whatever. You're gonna call me. (laughs) Call me a (laughs) shmail. Call me. (laughs) Call me baby. Call me a shmail. There are two types of people. Uh, and one of them um, loved whales <laughs> or hated them very very much <laughs> which is the same as love in a way isn't it There's a fine sometimes line. the line is very thin yeah yeah <laughs> um tip number two don't ever say thank you uh apparently if you thank the fae they you you now owe them a favor because they've done something for you instead say i appreciate it or yeah something along that line and, i don't think that translates anywhere <laughs> um and uh we have come to the end of what i know about the fae <laughs> yeah same but you can call us when when we're here i'm galley and this is I'm Pally. Pally, which hates, but we have no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting used to it, I guess. <laughs> what should we call you, Larva? Oh, obviously, Ishmael. That wasn't a cultural <laughs> reference. That was just my idea. Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll call you Ishmael. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, uh, what are we, what are we doing? Well, right now we are going to the fall court. Um, ca- the main castle in the fall court. Okay. Uh. Well, it's, 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 huh? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, so, uh, okay, we are on a mission, uh, that's going to the fall court, but, um, could you tell us a little more about yourself, maybe, before we spill all the beans? Oh, I just wanted to get to a town. I'm trying to get out of here. Like, I had, oh, sure. I had, I had stuff to do. I think my oven's on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. All right. Well, we are we are going to town. Uh, you're welcome to ride along with us if you like. Oh, nice. I'm gonna curl up in a ball right in the cart and fall asleep. Oh, great. <laughs> That was fast. Make yourself at home. <laughs> <laughs> really, though. I mean, I just... but he could be. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. Go ahead. Oh, but she could be helpful. I I know you could be helpful. So maybe down the road, we'll 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 test that out. Oh right, yeah, sounds good. And I start ripping up the blankets to make like a little comfy bed out of them. Wait, wait, wait. wait I, before I, you... I, okay. We like. Can, could we keep those intact? Maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's all right. I get it's it. One more. Uh, <laughs> that's my favorite. 
<laughs> I'll <laughs> and Summer kind of like pats your shoulder and he's like, I'll, I'll get you a new one. <laughs> With all of the money we have. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Is that money? N no, that was the joke. <laughs> ah, okay. Wait, hold up. <laughs> yeah, it's like a cat hearing a hearing a treat bag rustle. You're like, hmm? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like I like that this uh kobold from another world knows um like is speaking in like earth colloquialisms in Amer American <laughs> earth co colloquialisms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> That's D and D for you. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's from a world that's just like America, but Cobalt. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> They've got the Cobalt Oscars mm -hmm. and the Cobalt MLB and the Cobalt <laughs> Hockey. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Last night, the Cobalt uh, Washington people <laughs> played uh, the Mets and we didn't watch the last inning because they got rained on. <laughs> yeah, we had really bad rain the last several days. I mean, it was nice yeah. here yesterday, a little cold, but. Rain on me. Rain. Ah, wait, sorry. Don't take us down for copyright. Twitch. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I wasn't singing a copyrighted song. It's <laughs> been very hot here. It was 95 yesterday. Ooh, that is yeah. too hot. That sounds nice, though. <laughs> <laughs> at that point you'll pick it <laughs> i mean yeah, yeah. Hot. we've really had a hot winter here so oh uh, yeah i was at the cherry blossom festival down uh in fairmount and it was snowing and i'm like this is unacceptable Get your shit together. snowing yes in wow april that is not usual yeah a hundred degree weather in April isn't either, and it's not as great as it sounds. It's quite uncomfortable, to be honest. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. <laughs> that brief segue into real life uh, weather between weather check. Philadelphia <laughs> and, and Los weather. Angeles. <laughs> there you go. And now the weather. <laughs> 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 I have to start listening to that podcast again. That's good. I love it. So we're headed down the road? I, down the road. So we're heading down the road. So um, I have a, something I'd like to think about. Mm -hmm. When we get to the fall court, yes, I feel like our best course of action is to blend in and maybe work for them and try to get in on the inside, if that's poss even possible. When you, when you say blend in, Ein Sommer kind of looks at you and then looks at himself and then looks at the sleeping kobold next to us. You make a say fair anything. point. <laughs> you make a fair point. I see what you're not saying. and <laughs> But if, you know, if this... Spring court hires random people. Maybe the fall court will too. I feel like uh, the spring court has a bunch of uh, practices that it would do well for other kingdoms not to follow in terms of hiring their staff. So I don't know if we should consider that the standard, but I'm willing to try. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, it might not make sense, but that doesn't mean they don't do it. True, true. So you, what's your plan once we get hired? Uh, just try to get some clues and maybe okay. then find the dagger. I mean, oh, I said it. Is sure. he sleeping? Are you sleeping, Mr. Kobold, sir? No, what's the dagger? What's the dagger? <laughs> what's the dagger do? Ishmael. Just call him Ishmael. Call Ish me Ishmael. <laughs> Ishmael, oh, Larva, I'm gonna have Cobalt. to. Uh, I'm gonna have to start littering Moby Dick uh, references throughout this campaign now. <laughs> Look, at yeah. some boss fight. I'm gonna say from the uh, at the White Hum. What is the line? I stab at the ah, shit. I, I don't know. I never read. I gotta it. go read it now. Yeah, right. <laughs> I only know this book from Cultural quotes. Osmosis. Famous yeah. quotes from Moby Dick. Just Google that. <laughs> I think. I think we've we've covered 
the biggest one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Most recognizable. Don't change the subject. What's the dagger? Oh, yeah. So, well, I guess now we've said it. Um, so, we're actually on a mission. We're trying to find this. Sorry. What? I said what? we're on a mission from God. Which one? I guess. Which God? No, it was just a, a pop culture reference. Continue. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, so we're trying to find this dagger that um, is pretty dangerous for the people around here. It can kill uh, them, which I guess is hard to do. And uh, so it's, in, it's fallen into the wrong hands. So we're trying to get it back. It was stolen. Yes. We so are attempting to, to recover it. To get home. Yeah. Sorry, say that again? So we could use it as leverage to get home. Yeah, uh, that was pretty I... much our plan, wasn't it? <laughs> well, All right, yeah. Mania yeah. offered you help to get home if you retrieve oh, the dagger. Yeah. Oh, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. So if, if home is where you're looking to get, I'm sure if you help us, um, you can probably do that, maybe. All right. I'm sure you could argue it. So we get dagger. We bring yes. it to Metal Lady. Yes. And then we get home. Right. More or less. Sounds great. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> I'm Did awful. you call Queen Titania Metal Lady? Yeah, that. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I heard you correctly. <laughs> Vaughn, as a DM, is like, this will have consequences. <laughs> Why am I... Spontaneously combusting? What's going on? Oh god! No! Ishmael! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> is, there, is there anything else we need to tell our new friend here, Gally? Well, that's what I can think of. I think we've covered most of it. Nice. Yeah, um, it it helps, you know, you were dropped in here with no explanation or context, and we kind of were too, so, you know, we're all in the same boat, really. In the same cart, if you will. Yes. Well, I'm on a horse boat. Hmm. No, I guess I am sitting on the cart. I, I think the cart is being driven by horses. Being pulled right. by horses, rather. They're not driving. That would be yeah, bad. Yeah, it's like it's like one of those one of those carts where there's like that place in the front where you can sit and like steer the horses, and then there's like space in the back as well right. for like the things that you're taking with you. The things that we carry. Yeah. It's okay though. I, I put it on autopilot. You look back, <laughs> and the horses are just wandering with no direction. <laughs> <laughs> They're just following the road. Yeah. Yeah, it's like auto run in The Witcher 3. Yeah. yeah. Roach just follows the road. You press that button. Wait, button. What? Oh, is that a game? Yeah. It's a video game. Yeah, The oh, Witcher yeah. 3. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's what the Netflix series is based off of. I figured. Well, there's books too. Anyway. Yeah. Um. <laughs> The second season of the show is wonderful. Um, I'm watching it right it. now. It's so good. It's good. I was trying to rewatch the first season. First season's That's... good, but it's confusing. The first season is okay. <laughs> I was warned ahead of time that the first season dealt with different timelines. Oh, at so least was... you you were warned. Yeah, we I was we warned. were. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Uh, I mean, I think I, it had its it had some redeeming qualities, and I enjoyed the show overall. But I mean, I they even address all of the issues in the first season in the second season in a way that's like delicious. If you haven't seen it yet, <laughs> you will. It's great. All right. So, so as we're regaling Ishmael with tales of uh, stories from our home world. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is popular fiction series called The Witcher. And anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So you're on the road to fall. I'll, I'll, it takes a few hours, but you are approaching the gates to the city. 
the main city. The name of which I have forgotten. That city. Yeah. The for Which is we'll high fantasy. The, it's the, the city. The for, yeah, it's the city. <laughs> In the Fall Kingdom. The city. Um, <laughs> in this like, world, there are four of the cities. Each kingdom has a the city. The city. I like yeah. it. All right. Cool. Perfect. I had names it's, for all of them, but they were all from different the, languages, so. It's on the map. It's called City of Leaves. Oh, okay. Perfect. You can see that. that yeah, makes on sense. roll twenty. If you. Uh... There you go. I'm like, where's the zoom in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. I got, there too. I got there too. We figured it out. Yes, yeah, City of Leaves. The City of Leaves. Also, there's uh, a couple of lakes that look like a smiley face. <laughs> That's true there. That's are. true. <laughs> Wait, where is City of Leaves? I don't see it. Right it's at the end of the left purple side line. of the purple. Yeah. Oh. Uh, that purple oh, line is the line that Roz Roz highlighted the route for you. That's what the purple line is. That was nice of Roz. Mm -hmm. Nice of her. Thank you, Roz. I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> we'll be totally oh. fine. Shite, if I say thank you and she's not here to hear it, did I, I say thank you at all? I think that's okay. If I'm okay. Wrong, I'm sure it's but... fine. I never I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Can we roll an insight or a history roll or something? <laughs> ah, it's not. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I kind of want to know now, actually. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, all my dice spill. Darn it. Oh no. <clears throat> It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. You could use your, your digital dice. Yeah, uh, I could. But physical ones are more fun, you know? They're so pretty. They are. Pretty dice. I want to eat them. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> I see the beginning of new dice goblins. <laughs> dice, dice goblin. They're so pretty. Yeah. They're so pretty, and I want so many that of them. That is the starter kit to Dice Goblin. But... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Once you have goblin, your first hit, worry. it's over. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you approach the city gates, and you enter the city, and um. You see, you you clearly see the castle, uh, up on a hill, in the middle of the city. Like the city is built around the castle. The Makes sense. The yeah. Of course, it's on a hill. <laughs> How else can they defend the the castle if it's not on a hill? Not sure. I thought you were. I thought you were going to say, "How else could they lord over everybody else <laughs> if they're not physically <laughs> higher?" I mean that too. <laughs> <laughs> Think uh, medieval Europe. Right. Not Ronald Reagan. No. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he was the worst cobra. <laughs> <laughs> he really was. <laughs> he was uh, among the worst. Uh, Cobalt economics. No, thank you. Oh, yeah. God. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, Trickle down more like pooling up at the top. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we sure know a lot about this cobalt world. It's weird. <laughs> well, is cobalt world different than our world? Are we from the same world, Ishmael? I don't know. Are you from my world? You're not cobalt. No. You're I'm an elf. a dragon. Yeah. Uh, dragonborn, yes. Hello. I do not pose a threat to you. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't think you did until you said it, and now that's all I have in my head, though. <laughs> well, most people tend to get a little scared of me when they first see me because of the reason you just said that I'm part dragon. So okay, I'm gonna okay. Preemptively, you know, I'm thinking you. I should be scared of you because you're brought up now that people are scared of you. Um, <laughs> I'm really good at this socializing thing, clearly. Um. <laughs> 
everything's fine, and he awkwardly pats you on the head. <laughs> oh god, this is how I die. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. It's fine. <laughs> wow, you accepted death so quickly. You know, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> I'm learning so much about the three of us <laughs> from our interactions together. <laughs> quite, quite a crew. All right, what's the plan? Where's the dagger? Okay, so the Prince of the Foul Court has it. All right, His so name... we're sneaking in? I think so. I, well, I was thinking wasn't we get... planned to try to get jobs with the Prince's castles, the, the, the staff? Maybe it Maybe it's a bad idea. I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I don't know. We can check, like, Cobalt List and see if they're hiring, I guess. I don't think <laughs> Cobalt we have list. a Cobalt List here, but we could try it. I, yeah. Maybe we should just get to town and see how we're feeling? Hang on, well, let me check my phone. Let me pull out a cell phone. What? What? Uh, oh, I have <laughs> no that... signal. What is this? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> What is that thing? Why Come do you on, have that? We haven't what? seen ever seen a cell phone, have we? I don't uh, know what you're talking about. No, I, I don't. I don't. I don't think you two have. What? Ein Summer is fascinated, and he, he's like almost afraid to touch it. He like peers over your shoulder and like tries to see what's see, going on. The danger it. part that you mentioned and the scary part, like I think this is part of it. Like this called personal space. <laughs> <laughs> Are kobolds just hipsters? <laughs> he has little little horn rimmed glasses on. Yeah, <laughs> Maybe Larva is. Millennials. Kobolds are He's all a Cobalt millennial. millennial. <laughs> oh my god. Cobalt Millennial is the name of my band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That it would be a, an amazing band name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing it down right now. Yeah. <laughs> he actually name. does have a running list of band names. I do. Well, I think that Maybe that might be a good are. merch idea. <laughs> Cobalt, Co millennials. Cobalt Millennials. Cobalt Millennials is the name and a little of my drawing band. of a, a hipster-looking Cobalt. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll put my cell phone back in my skinny jeans, and we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so you're serious? Uh, Larva pulls out his cell phone. <laughs> He's not from this world. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, and Summer like looks at it and he's like, "Yeah, I don't think we're from the same place." No, I got that kind of from the armor, also. <laughs> no, fair. You don't wear armor. Wait, shit! I am wearing armor. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that in character? You like look down. And you're like, "Holy shit! I am wearing." Oh, God, where did this come from? <laughs> I've been wearing scale mail the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Clerics wear that. Damn. Okay. Work. <laughs> well, would you rather we were just naked in our cart? That'd be a little weird. I don't think those were my only two options. I could have had regular clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. I, I like that. I don't think those were my only two options. <laughs> <laughs> we got ourselves a I can't be naked. Here. She's allowed to see me naked. Why does anyone have to be naked? <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> you know, other than the like sort of general discomfort and maybe the awkwardness socially. General discomfort. I mean, this guy like threatened me earlier, so you know. Huh? What? I didn't threaten you. Okay, but you really insisted people shouldn't be scared of you. I didn't say they should be. I said that they are. That's I said different. should not, but you know, it's it's weird to mention. <laughs> I'm a weird guy. Am I I'm weird. Some there? Now I'm making it weirder. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go get those jobs. <laughs> Let's go find a job. Yeah. Oh god, we really are millennials. Idea. What? Uh, well, let's just go with it. It's the only idea I have. Well, Ishmael, you said you wanted to sneak in. Oh yeah. So we've got two options so far. Get jobs and try to go undercover or just sneak in and skip all that. I don't think those are our only two options, but how do we feel about those two plans? I think that 
maybe um, sneaking in might be more efficient. I agree. Can we pull off sneaking in being who we are? Only one way to find out. Oh, boy. Okay. Good old college try. (laughs) (laughs) Every time I hear that, that phrase... I think of this old Calvin and Hobbes comic where Calvin asks his dad, he's like, what does give it the old college try mean? And his dad goes, it means you get your, get a beer with your buddies, have a pizza, and forget about tomorrow. And the mom goes, that's not what it means. And the dad's like, where did you go to college? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So this yes, campaign is about to turn into a heist movie. Yes, yes. I'm so on board. <laughs> All right, check. The only part we're missing is um, the montage where we describe the whole plan, like as it happens. But that, but we keep a key piece of information from the audience so that we only already had it on lock the whole time. You just didn't know. Mm. You didn't. Well, we're gonna have to do that when we get to the tavern later. Lay all our maps out on the table, (laughs) and then be like, "All right, here's the plan." Yeah, I mean, we it. can let's... do that. Theater of the mind, we can do that with our words. Sure. <laughs> I'll just make you roll checks as we're talking about the plan. Okay. Yeah. Like how many people are seeing us and listening to what we're saying? <laughs> yeah, should, remember you, you are you in the court sneak, of spies. You know what? Hang on, hang on. I like the sneak sneak in plan, but we I think we we combine both. Um, we go into the castle, say we're looking for jobs, so that way we can sort of get a lay of the land, and then figure out a plan, sneak around, so that we're just not trying to sneak into a place blindly. Does that make and sense? Then, if we get caught, we can be like, oh, sorry, I thought this was the employment office, and then they can just... <laughs> I thought this was the job fair, sorry. <laughs> I got yeah, yeah. turned around. <laughs> what do you think, Ishmael? Alright, I got an idea. Okay. I don't know, I, I pull out, like, priest clothes like like <laughs> catholic priest robes because it says a little tiny so cobalt go priest outfit that's yeah. adorable yeah uh, you're making fun of my religion no, no i'm complimenting you jeez <laughs> call me adorable that's a compliment mm, never mind <laughs> in so our snippy. world i gotta compliment. cut that out in our yeah, world yeah that's what i say in yeah, our yeah. world it's a compliment yeah, so he gets dressed, he puts on his collar and everything. He's like, aha, now we'll go get a job. I mean, uh, okay. we could try it. Let's try it. Should we be your, like, escort or your, like, uh, religious pupils? Uh, what's our cover story here? Yeah, sure. And I pull out, like, two suspiciously good-fitting uh, hooded cloaks and throw one to each of you. Oh, thank you. How did you have my... You know what? It doesn't matter. Let's go. <laughs> Ein Sommer's definitely like... He's not pressing the issue, but he's side-eyeing you a little bit. It's like... <laughs> what, what else kind of things do you have packed away in your little treasure trove? <laughs> and how they suspiciously all seem to line up with what we need. <laughs> Alright, so... Does the castle have like uh like a like a like a I'm I'm doing air quotes servants entrance? Um. Well, you you don't know it probably does, but you just got here. You don't know yet. All right. Well, so we'll don't go... you want to go to a tavern first and maybe like see what people are saying and get some drink and food? Oh, I hate that trope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you say that in character? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I hate that trope. It's so cliche. Let's go look for a servant's entrance. That's where usually Uh, we're the hire from. All right, let's do it. All right. What? uh, The the castle has a wall. Let's go around the perimeter looking for a door, right? Right. That doesn't look suspicious at all. What are we doing with our, like, stuff? It's under the, it's under the, the, the cloak. I mean, like, our horses and carriage. Oh, crap. We got to park them, right? <laughs> yeah. We should probably tie them up somewhere. Uh, in the city, you know, it's going to be so expensive. I was going to say, we could probably just tie them up um, on the f- at the edge of the forest and then head into town from there. Boom. Does that That's work? 
geographically with how it's laid out, Vaughn? Yeah, it should work. Okay, yeah. Um, so we uh, tie up the horses, leave them some food and drink, and and head on into the city. Oh, and I um, I'm pretty sure I can hide them. Hold on, I'm gonna mold some earth around them. Oh, I have to be there for it to work, don't I? Oh, you can't like cast it and then leave. I don't think so. Yeah, be pretty cool about... if you could. I don't know, DM. Is that something I can do? Uh, I I'm not familiar with this spell. But I mean, if uh, you like, if you mold earth, like if it's if it's the spell I'm thinking about, uh, like if you like bring up like mounds of of dirt around them, like um, to kind of like just shield them from from view at like a glance or something. I I don't see why that wouldn't just stay. It doesn't say concentration. I think it just stays because you're literally moving the earth too. It's not an illusion. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it kind of like you're just building a hill. Like, you're building a, um... Oh, brain, come on, please. Little, little mud hut. Yeah. A little mud hut. Yeah, you're just it does... doing it with magic instead of your hands. I don't see why it wouldn't stay. It does say that the change lasts for one hour. There you go. All right, we can so in and out in an hour. That'll be totally fine. Smash that sounds realistic. Too. All right, so Our I'm gonna. Bodies. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna well, I hope you enjoyed a quarter part. That's our show. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. All right, so I make a little hill for them. Um, that kind of uh covers them. Oh, uh. And that they can chill out inside and get some, you know, in case it starts raining or something. Nice. Yeah. There you go, horsies. <laughs> That's what they say. Return. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So you get the horses situated. You go into town and you start walking the castle perimeter looking for a service entrance. Should we we should be sneaking it, right? Sneaking around? Uh cool. yeah, make um stealth rolls. Stealth roll. I got um an eight. Sixteen oh for me. <laughs> and a seven for Einstammer. What? Yeah. <laughs> I had plus four. How did mm -hmm. so you rolled okay. a three? <laughs> I yes, I know how math works. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to be sneaking? Because you know we're we're legit. Uh, oh yeah, we're playable. You're right. We I guess we don't. I bet it. <laughs> we rolled so poorly that it, I'm sure our sneaking is is just doing that. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> You guys are doing that, and I'm sneaky because I got a 16. And you're just you're just gone. You're in the wind. You, you, you can't even see where you are. <laughs> Faded away before our eyes. Wait, where did Galley go? <laughs> I'm right here, guys. You can't see me. Whoa, um, who said that? Blow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, well, um, well, we're looking for a job anyway, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hold yourself like uh like an unemployed person. I'm gonna give them a nice firm handshake and uh yeah. Do 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 we see any people around or beings? Um when or, you first entered the city you did you saw some people like hanging around. It was like it's like the main road. Um like you notice that the uh, the city is kind of in a circular fashion around the castle so the main road goes in a big circle around it and it's got um like res resident residential areas and shopping areas and when you when you came right when you came into town to the left is sort of a shopping area so you saw people different phase uh walking around going in and out of shops talking to each other standing in groups outside cool. that kind of stuff they're all Fey? Yeah, they're all Fey. Cool. Fey Dunaway. 
Yes, they're all Faye Dunaway. <laughs> Into you. the Dunaway verse. <laughs> uh, that would be freaky, but also okay. <laughs> so roll a perception check to try to find the door to the service center. Uh, is it daytime right now? Yes. Okay, so I get disadvantage. You get disadvantage? Yep. Well, I got a 19, baby! I got a 9. I got an X. <laughs> so Einsommer notices a, um, a discreet door at the back of the castle. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, it says, uh, it has, like, a painted in tiny letters it says servants i pointed out to my companions and i say bingo i wouldn't even have seen that <laughs> what did you say i wouldn't have any, even have seen that oh <laughs> well that's why you've got me hi kitty hi Yay. baby oh there he goes <laughs> he likes this actually Oh. Alright, I'll go up and knock on the door. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um a an older Fay woman, or at least what looks like an older Fay woman to you, opens the door. Um she's got like curly brown short hair. Stereotypical like uh in um like, uh, brain, please. <laughs> um, stereotypical looking, uh, head servant, I guess. Like, mm -hmm. the manager of the, mm -hmm. of the castle. There's, I know that there's an actual title, but I don't remember. I don't, I wouldn't know no, what no, it was. Yeah. yeah. Maquette, Maquette would know, he knows, like, all that stuff. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> what? I haven't seen Downton Abbey in years. <laughs> the Gilded Age was pretty good. I don't know. If you guys <laughs> need something to watch. Uh, I'm making Make a list. Right now. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. You're yeah. you're always the person that I go to about like court with courtly questions. Courtly questions. Yeah. I like those. The sound of those. I don't know much. Uh -huh. um, um, yeah, but I guess my character will say in like perfect Sylvan, be like, "Greetings, madam. Do you have a moment to discuss our Lord and Savior, Cobalt Christ?" <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She says, no, I'm sorry, I'm quite busy. And, oh, in that case. Back. Uh, 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 do you have an application? I... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I missed what you said, sorry. Sorry, I was just saying if she has an application. Uh, an application for what, dear? Uh, the court always can use priests, right? Look at me, I got everything. <laughs> Do we have any idea what he's back. saying, Vaughn? No, you guys don't. <laughs> You're right, I don't. Yeah. I'm, I'm just kind of like <laughs> mean mugging, trying trying to hope that he's not screwing us over. <laughs> and you just see me pantomiming like, ah, the outfit, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and Summer barely resists the urge to facepalm. <laughs> he doesn't, yeah. but it's close. And she says, yes, we are in need of a priest, however... Uh, the royal family does not uh, follow Cobalt Christ. That's unfortunate. But, and I pull out my little requi uh, requi reliquary, and I'm like, all right, what, what deity do we need here? <laughs> what deity do we need here? Can I do like a history roll to figure out which one I should be you know, uh, Pitching. In, into? I don't I mean, know what to you say. You don't know the gods of this land. <sighs> you just got here. 
Can I do a perception roll to see if there's any iconography that might give me a hint? Yes. Is it still... Can a cloud pass by or something so I don't have disadvantage? Uh... I'll help you. I don't know if you can help him. You don't know what he's doing. That's fair. Uh, yeah, we'll say a cloud. Um, oh, thank God. Passes mm-hmm. over the sun. All right, 18. What do I see? 18. Okay, so around her neck, you see um, a, a stone with it, uh, the symbol of a leaf um, engraved into it. Okay. So in my reliquary, a leaf happened to fall in randomly. Okay. And I'm just like, ah, pull it up and go, see? <laughs> Holy symbols. Perfect for the job. Um... And that's all I got. <laughs> persuasion? <laughs> yeah, roll persuasion. What do we got? 17. 17. That's pretty good. Okay, yes, yeah, she will invite you. She'll invite you in. Boom. Oh, and uh, these are my acolytes that go along with me. Thank you. And she nods and, and beckons for them to come in as well. Oh, and of course, in Sylvan, I say, oh, and their pay goes through me. So, you know, that, that, that goes into my uh, my wallet first of course of course <coughs> this right, is what well, maquette does yeah what? all like well, all of it all of your D characters try to um kind of screw other the other characters in the party a little bit in some way shape or form usually regarding money it's tradition is it <laughs> you tried to sell thea for gems they were a lot of gems. Dude, what? Look, <laughs> in fairness, there was a lot of them. Sure, yeah, that makes it fair. That makes it ethical. No. <laughs> well, good thing we don't have any idea what you said, Dar. <laughs> yeah, no problem. No I'm problem. sure it's fine. Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm sure it's fine. That Back is you guys the and... motto of this campaign. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's our merch right there. A court apart. I'm, I'm sure, sure it's, it's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. I'm just like in common. Back to you guys. Like, all right, we're in. Let's go. <laughs> Lady, follow the kobold, I guess. Yep. Okay. Uh, work. The the woman, the uh, the fae, uh, leads you into a room, and offers you seats at a table, and offers you refreshments like some tea. I don't recall there was some rule about eating and drinking. I'm sure it's fine, and I take the tea. <laughs> and, and Summer politely declines. I'm thirsty, though. Am I supposed to not eat for four days or however long we're going to be here? That's not going to happen. And Summer rolls his eyes and kind of takes some of the food as well. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. That's a problem for future me. <laughs> Screw that guy. <laughs> yeah. Larva wasn't told anything about food or drink or anything like that, so he's just like gone to town. Yeah. Like right. Cookie Monster. Oh, nom, 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 nom. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so she sits down at the table with you and uh, says, um,. Oh, no, we're we're good. We're good. 
just looked over and all of a sudden the cameras were in different places. Ah. But it switched back. We're good. Nice. Jeff's turned off for a second. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's oh, okay. Good. All right. So uh, oh, here good. we are. Mine. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Should continue. We, should we go explore? Well, the lady's still here with us. Oh, right. Yeah, she sits down at the table with you and starts explaining the position available. Mm -hmm. and, in Sylvan? Yeah, in Sylvan. And, We're just uh, kind of awkwardly sitting there like... Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I might take out my pan flute and just start kind of playing a little ditty. And uh, she looks over at you in a comment and she says, Oh, that's very nice. The, the, the prince will love that. <laughs> I just nod. Yeah. And keep playing. Um, so after after explaining the job uh in detail in Sylvan, mm -hmm. uh she uh she stands up and she says, Well, I think everything's in order here. Uh I will show you to the chapel and your and your um your rooms chambers. Yes, whatever whatever she would say. I'm just like, praise be. Praise be. Under his eye. Under his eye. <laughs> and she the leads greater you to good. The, she leads you to the chapel, which uh, looks a lot like the spring courtroom or throne room. Huh. Pretty. It's very pretty. I uh, still all the way zoomed in. Oh. <laughs> I guess I need an icon. I should draw one. And you don't have to draw one. You can just you can find like an image of a kobold and send it to me. Yeah, I'll... yeah, I got mine from a Google image search. <laughs> there you go. Um, you. I'll do that uh, before next time. Did you just want to um, get me a default icon if there's like one you have available? Uh, yeah. Let me check real quick. I didn't think I, there's that. three on there right now. Yeah, the other one is uh, Sin. Oh right, he's just always silent. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to run and get a drink really fast. Okay. There you go. There you are. Nice. It's just a, uh, a kobold. I look like I'm about to chase down the Frank Science monster. I don't think I can click on it though. Are you able to assign control to me? Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Gotcha. Gotcha. Nice. There you go. You should be able to move it now. Nice. Look at me jumping Perfect. around. <laughs> I'm on the pews. You're inspecting the whole chapel. Mm hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, I believe, a chapel. <laughs> <laughs> and Summer's not sure what to do, so he just kind of hovers and tries to look both, both neutral but also unapproachable. <laughs> okay. Just don't bother me. Yeah. Um. I didn't set up the other scene. I'm sorry, chat. We have a roll 20 scene, but it's not set up very well or like at all. So there's roll 20. 
you can see what the chapel looks like. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, there's Maquette's kobold character. Arky barky, ark bark bark. <laughs> Having fun over there? <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> um, nice, this will be a nice place to work. Yes, quite lovely. Does does our new boss speak common? Yes. Yeah, she spoke to us in common before. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was just assuming I couldn't understand anything. <laughs> and so she's explaining in common where everything is that uh, you, you all will need for uh, the weekly services. We pay close attention. Okay. Most of it's under the altar. Any daggers under there? Uh, maybe a couple athames, but not the dagger you're looking for. This is not the dagger you're looking for. <laughs> More the question. More than ask. Um, and so then she she takes you to your chambers, which is a little sweet. Um, near the chapel that has, uh, it has, like, four bedrooms and a kitchen area and a study area and a library. Ooh, we're fancy now. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nice servants' quarters. Did you say that out loud? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> I do. Ah, oh, we're fancy now. <laughs> Ready to serve God, whatever leaf God thing. <laughs> leaf God. You, leaf God? You say that? Uh, whatever leaf. Ooh, 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 pan flute. Woo, <laughs> 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 woo, woo, pan flute. <laughs> She says, um, well, the clergy are not just, are not just servants. They are, they are exalted. That, that's what me, exalted. <laughs> You'll forgive my ignorance, I'm in training. She says, yes, it's yes, her I first am. day. Technically, it's all of our first days. <laughs> this is our new job. Forever, and we have no ulterior motives. Nope, none at all. Ah, this is lovely. Um, but oh, ooh, I sure am getting sleepy. I could use a nap. Um, uh, what do we call you, boss lady? My name is Martha. I should have asked that at some point. Sorry. Your name is Martha. Good to meet yes. you, Martha. Martha Stewart. Martha, Martha, Martha. Martha, Martha. Lovely to meet you, Martha. Indeed, you can call me Gally. And me, Pally. <laughs> he loves it. And this is our I sure do. And I, am, and I am Father Ishmael. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> the pleasure's all mine. Oh, she's she, so nice. She kind of she she sort of bows to you three before she takes her leave. Mm -hmm. uh, oh wait, uh, should we? Do you have like a map of the castle or anything that we might use? You know, as we're getting acclimated. Oh yes, of course, of course. And she uh she hands over a map of the castle, um, and uh, and she says. Uh, the, the castle is, uh, you, you are welcome to go anywhere in the castle except for the prince's tower. Got it. Tell us about the prince, our new boss. I, you know, I want to make a good first impression, so if you could give us any good tips, I would appreciate it. Well, 
you know, he's just like every other prince. Um, he is stubborn and demanding, and uh, he just he he knows what he wants when he wants it. And if you don't know what it is, then uh, too bad for you. Got it. Well, oh, well, thank you, Martha. Much appreciated. You're welcome. I hope you all oh. sleep well. Yep. Bye. Is she gone? Yes. Shite, I said thank you. Also, she said her name was her name. Are the rules different here? I think it was a fake name. Wait, you said thank you? I did. She <coughs> gave us it, and I said thank you. Oh, well. well I'm sure it's did, fine. Uh, did she react at all, Vaughn, when Kat said thank you? No. Oh, okay. Maybe, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> she said sleep well tonight. I feel like that was a threat. We're gonna die tonight. She didn't say it like, sleep well tonight. <laughs> I mean, did she? No. She said, I hope you sleep well. <laughs> Insight check. <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, what's that D&D &D thing that everybody does? Can we, can we do one? It, doing an insight check. Hang on. And I got a six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it seems fine. I got a 17. Uh, yeah, you, you think that, uh, that she's, uh, she's sweet and genuine. Yeah, I think she's sweet and genuine. <laughs> You just say that because you like everybody we meet, Galley. You're not wrong. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this map. Indeed. We roll it out on the ta on a table like like in the beginning of a montage. We're like, here's the plan. <laughs> Even though we don't have one yet. <laughs> okay. Not in and here. So the uh, the map or the castle is um pretty basic. It's a square castle uh, with one main hallway that goes down each side, and in the middle is a big courtyard, and uh, there are four towers, one on each corner, and uh, there's one that is clearly the prince's uh, tower because it is marked as such. And uh, very good. And one of the towers is the chapel, and you your suite is above the chapel. Go to the chapel. Do, 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 do. Um, the dagger and where? Well, I'm going to guess, since it's the one place we're not allowed to go, that the dagger is in the prince's tower. Uh... Yeah, Especially because like we suspect the prince of having stolen it, correct? We know the prince stole it. Yes. So I'm going to guess that's where it is. So, how do we get access to some place we are not allowed to go? Well, right. you know, just because we're not allowed doesn't mean we can't get in. <laughs> we look for a servant store, and then we apply for a job. <laughs> <laughs> it worked before! It's <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good at the wide-eyed, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know, I didn't know I was, I'm supposed to be lost. I was just looking for the bathroom, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Well, but I don't want to send you in there by yourself. Unless you True. think you can handle it by yourself. Well, I mean, do you think maybe we could get a little more information, and then uh, we might have a better idea of how to approach it? Sure. Uh, like, what sort of information should we look? What, sorry? Sorry, I was gonna say that it doesn't seem like we're in immediate rush. We can try to collect as much as we can. Yeah, that's true. Um, okay, what, sh what should our next step be then? What's the, what's the move? Maybe we could get to know our co-workers? Uh, sure. I, I want to point out the, uh, I think the, uh, the, the clergy angle was good because people tend to trust um, the clergy a little bit more than they would like random 
like especially since like you three are obviously you four I guess Sin is here too you four are obviously outsiders <laughs> and uh right but then we're gonna have like cobalt confession right <laughs> Forgive me, Cobalt Father, for I have Cobalt sinned. <laughs> it has been three weeks since my last Cobalt confession. <laughs> <laughs> I've had many Cobalt temptations, Father. Oh my God. Hey, five Cobalt Hail Marys. Many Cobalt <laughs> sinful thoughts. And two <laughs> Hail Cobalt Fathers. <laughs> or no, two Our Cobalt Fathers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Our Cobalt Father. Who art in cobalt heaven? Hallowed be thy cobalt name. Thy cobalt kingdom come. Thy cobalt will thy be cobalt done. Cobalt will be done on cobalt earth as it is in cobalt heaven. <laughs> oh, give us this time. cobalt day, our daily cobalt bread. <laughs> and forgive us our cobalt trespasses as we forgive those who cobalt trespass against us. I can do the whole thing. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. Fun. Are you Catholic? And lead us not into cobalt temptation, but deliver us from cobalt evil. <laughs> Is the joke the bad if I beat the dead horse into the ground yet? <laughs> no, keep going, because I actually don't know the rest. Oh, shoot. Nine I have one part not... left, and I'm blanking on it. Oh, fuck. Um, give us a day or the as we forgive. Lead us not into temptation, <laughs> but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the glory. For yours is the Cobalt Kingdom, the Cobalt Glory, and... Ah, oh, shoot. Yeah, I don't remember specifically the last part. For yours is the Kingdom and the Power and the Cobalt Glory forever. <laughs> <laughs> forever and ever. Cobalt, Cobalt Men. Amen. Cobalt Amen. Cobalt Amen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, we're allowed still to go... Funny. It's still funny. <laughs> yeah, it works. Uh, uh, we're allowed to go anywhere in the castle, so maybe we could just wander around. Uh, which I, which I was thinking, maybe mm -hmm. we could find out, like a reason, something that a reason for us to have to go in. He's got a whatever emergency. We just have to know a little more about him, so we can convince people that we're allowed in. Maybe it's a faith-based emergency, like, oh, this is an intervention. The the prince is. Straying away from godly teachings, but if we help him, <laughs> leafly teachings, leafly teachings, <laughs> leafly god, god, leaf godly teachings, <laughs> right? But also, they needed, they had an opening. So, what happened to the old one? Why did I ask he leave? That every job interview? It's a good question. <laughs> what did she say? He didn't ask he this didn't time. Ask no, this I was time. just joking. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you the player, not the character. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you, I, I mean, you can't well, really ask, right? Like, you yeah. don't really want to. You don't really want to answer why you're not at your old job, and you don't really want to know why the other person is there, although you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My whole thing is like, can you explain this gap in your work history? Oh yeah, I can. Uh, that was the time I wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> What business is it of yours? Like, yeah. <laughs> next question. Anyway, <laughs> I don't have the gap, but I do have like short stints. Mm -hmm. Um, so for that, it's it's. I usually just say it's about pay, and I don't lean on the fact that I had some really terrible bosses, or really terrible just one bosses. really terrible boss. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's move around and see see what sort of info we can discover. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm good. It's probably fine. Laura, it's probably fine. fine. <laughs> it's probably fine. <laughs> I will be what? right back. One moment. Okay. What about Larva? Are we splitting up or are we staying together? Let's stay together. Okay. Is uh, that okay? Yeah, of course. Larva thinks we should go to the chapel. All right. Because we we're at the rooms to... now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Go. Sounds good to me. Was there like a, a confessional booth in the chapel? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I'm going to go sit in there for eight hours and do nothing. So you're, you're here to actually be the priest then? 
Is that? I think his angle is that in confession, people are going to say things that um, will uh, hopefully give him the information that you guys are looking for. Yes. Sure, and it, it is a good idea. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, and two, he is a cleric, so he's going to take this semi-seriously. Sure, and actually, it's good for you to be there anyway, because it makes us look like we're, that's what we're really here for. Exactly. But in that case, we might want to split up, because I don't think I can stand sitting here doing nothing. I'm going to have Never to go. Never split the party. You Sorry. always split the party. We scooby-doo this the second we get in. That's Pat, you, and me, you and me can wander around and see what sort of info and trouble we can find. I like the first part of that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, you know, working on precedent. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I was also supposed to be a joke saying that we get into trouble, but it didn't land, and that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Everyone's a comedian these days. <laughs> I mean, I'm just playing a game. I thought joking was part of it. No, uh, and Summer was saying that in character. <laughs> oh, <gotcha. laughs> Well, I am a bard. That's true. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer I sing? I prefer you do whatever you want, Gavin. Okay, let's go. <laughs> 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 All right, so where do you two want to check out? Well, you said there's four towers and then the, the middle area, right? Yeah. Uh, and one no, of what? Oh, Sorry, please, go, go ahead. ahead. Sorry. Oh. No, you. <laughs> um, so one tower is the princess tower. One tower is where we were, the um, the church tower. What are the other two? Um, one tower is the servants' quarters, the one that's the furthest away from the princess tower. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last tower is the king's tower. Hmm. Where's the king? Where's the know. king? Oh. And we're allowed to go to the king's tower, just not the prince's? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go to the king's tower. Figure figure out this little mystery. Yeah. So, now we go to the king's tower. Boop, 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 boop. All right. Um, you... And Summer, as, as we're moving, he tries, because we're still in our cloaks and stuff, he tries to, like, walk in a holy way, but it, look, it ends you up just looking really You try to look like weird. you're, like, floating over the ground. Yeah, just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you. I'll join you in that. He's got the little raptor arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also just gonna like have my pan flute out and sort of just casually play it when I feel like it. <laughs> what a picture we make. You with your little flute just tooting away and me behind you like... <laughs> <laughs> We're really... Good thing we didn't try to sneak around in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> you have T-Rex arms? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is going great, you guys. <laughs> so you follow the like map. Every plan in D&D &D ever, it is being pulled off flawlessly. <laughs> <laughs> you follow the map and you arrive at the King's Tower. There is a staircase that goes up, like, around the this spiral. It goes up. And the king's quarter is at the very top of the tower. Are we going up this really long staircase? Are we doing that? Yeah. I don't know. Are you? <laughs> no, I was asking uh. <laughs> Galen. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Why not? All right. Lead the way, Pied Piper. So we go up to the top and uh, see what we find. All right, you go up to the top and you enter the king's quarters, and it is a suite not dissimilar to your suite. Um, it just has like I guess fancier furniture. It's a little more decorated. Um, everything is very neat and tidy. 
There's not a speck of dust anywhere. Um, he doesn't have a kitchen. His, um, the servants use the castle kitchen to cook for the king. Books around? Um, yeah, there's some books. Uh, can I read them? Are they in Sylvan? They're in Sylvan. Uh, Hello? Anybody? anybody home? There's no answer. Um, forgive me. Uh, do we know? We know about the prince. Have we been told anything about the king? Like in the last few games or anything? No. Okay. Not that I can remember anyway. I don't remember saying anything about the king. Can I investigate the room and see if I find anything interesting? Yeah. I'll help you. Great, because I rolled a five. <laughs> <laughs> we can either, I can roll myself or I can give you advantage and you roll again, Kat, because that's I'll how roll. helping works, right, Vaughn? Yeah. I'll, I'll roll again. Okay. Okay. What'd you 11. roll? Eleven. Um, everything seems in order. It's like I said, it's very neat and tidy, no dust anywhere. Um, his sitting area kinda looks like grandpa's living room. <laughs> but with like royal furniture. Sure. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. I love it. Like big plush purple couches, plush red chairs, um a lovely fireplace. Yeah. Is the fire going? No. Oh. Can it's we tell how long it's hmm. Can we tell how long it's been since someone has used this room? No, not really. Hmm. It, there's a bedroom, right? Yeah. I'm going to peek in the bedroom. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the the bed is made up. Um and it everything looks like perfect. Like you're kind of getting the sense that the place hasn't been lived in for a long time. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I was going to try to investigate that. So, okay. Um, is there a window that that lets us see the Prince's Tower? Uh, you can look out a window, but you'll just see the outside of the tower. It's not cl it's not close enough to uh to see uh like into in a window in the Prince's Tower, but yes, you can see the tower. Okay. Do I get any uh do I get any insight from it? Can I do an insight check on just looking at the tower? Um sure. See what kind of vibes I get? Yeah. Fourteen? Fourteen? You feel like someone is watching you. Ha <laughs> ha from that okay. general direction. Okay. Do to do, just doing our duties. Just, I'm just gonna. Mm -hmm. Gally, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I was just looking out the window and uh, looking at that other tower. You know, the one we're not supposed to go into. And um, I just feel like someone's watching, maybe even listening to us. I feel like we might be being monitored. So, um, you know. We're just here doing our duties and taking a little exploration of our new workplace, aren't we, Pally? Yes, yes. You know, uh, a, a, a new priest. They have they have to bless all areas of the 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 abode that they're in. So that's. Yes. Uh, and Sommer tries to look like he's doing blessing things, like. <laughs> I uh, Galley will join in and hold on. <laughs> And I'll, I'll use dance. <laughs> yeah, and, with dancing lights. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, this space is clean. It is hashtag blessed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On to the next tower. Maybe that's how we can get in. If, oh, I mean, let's go. <laughs> yeah, on our way out, uh, can can Ein Sommer just like just quickly, uh, trying to play it off not, as not too suspicious, but just glance out the window Gally was talking about and see if he can figure out what was happening. Yeah. What role would that be? Investigation. Um, either insight or perception. 
I'll go with insect because it's higher. Okay. 22, baby! Wow. <laughs> yeah, you also feel like um, the tower is being watched and monitored. Like the tower that you are in currently. Right. Hmm. Don't like that. All right, let's go. With the books that are in the room, I know I can't read them, but, but are there any that, like, I think maybe uh, Larva should read? Um, they look a lot like, uh, like biographies and, like, political type books. The kind of books Grandpa would read? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is King Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Similar to Grandpa, but he is not Grandpa. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I'm excited. We're we're going home next. Well, you're going home in a couple days. Yeah, Monday. Yay. We haven't seen. I haven't seen them in a long time. So. Yeah. It's. I mean, it's been several months for me as well, and before that, several, it was way longer. Yeah, several years for me at this point. Yeah. Anywho, let's move on. Shall we? Uh, um, what do you think, Pally? What should we do? Um. So the towers are the King's Tower, which we just left. The Prince's Tower, which we're not allowed in. The uh, our tower, well, not our tower, but uh, yeah. the religion tower, if you will, and the servants tower. Yep. So we could... do you do you want to check out the servants tower? Do you feel like we should? Yeah, let's try it. I maybe they'll tell us stuff we need to know. Okay. Yeah. True. Let uh sure. But before we do that, should we see what our cobalt friend is up to? Yeah. Let's do. What have you been doing, by the way? <laughs> He's been hot boxing the, in the confessional. Yeah, he's in the Hell yeah. I didn't know that's what you were doing. I was Oh, jeez. <laughs> that would have very much changed my perception rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Disadvantage for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we uh we head back to to the religion tower and <laughs> <laughs> There's like, smoke coming from under the d door. <laughs> and Summer's fully like, oh my god, this, someone set a fire and like rushes. <laughs> <laughs> smoke just billows into his face. Uh, <laughs> Sally runs up and is just like <laughs> sniffing it in. <laughs> Turns out it's just incense. Uh, it, it's sandalwood. <laughs> It's frankly it suspicious. But when I was a kid, the only reason you burned incense was to burn it to cover the smell of something else that was burning. If you get my drift. I talk about drugs. <laughs> Don't do drugs. Please. Are you talking about drugs? <laughs> And Summer, like, looks down at you, Ishmael, and, like, are you see I thought we were splitting up to, like, do work and stuff. What What is this? Did Did anybody come to the confessional box while they were going? Um, yeah, there were a few people. Did I learn anything? Uh, nothing, nothing more than, like, just pettiness. Like, this person said this, so I did this. I <laughs> what was my voice? Oh, I found out that Martha's a bit of a hussy. She's been getting it on with the dishwasher. And she, <laughs> last time she was out, the dishwasher was picking out more groceries and bought extra for herself to bring home to her eight kids. <gasps> I needed it. Well, you know what I have to say about that. You get yours, Martha. I'm not going to shame you. Yeah, she is an icon. Martha can get it. <laughs> frequently, apparently. If that's what Martha wants, that's what Martha shall have. Indeed. <laughs> get it, Martha. 
Get it, Marvel. Damn. Hashtag get it, Martha. <laughs> get it, Martha. <laughs> that may or may not be in the go live tweet next month. Oh my god. <laughs> it depends on if I remember it or not. Yeah. It's time for our live stream. Get it, Martha. <laughs> get it. And Although then hashtag we have another... it's probably fine. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably fine. <laughs> oh no, I thought the <laughs> <laughs> I thought the hashtag was Cobalt Millennial. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Oh my God. Yeah. And Cobalt the Le- Cobalt Millennial is the name of my band. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Cobalt Millennial. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you are right. enjoying this as much as we are, chat. <laughs> We're having a blast over here. We're having a great time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know that you're getting some intel, because what we were thinking is we could go to the servants' quarters and just sort of get to know everybody. Introduce ourselves, you know? See yeah. what's up. Okay. <laughs> you're not into it? You kind of don't really want to meet people, but okay. <laughs> I just spent all day meeting people. Hearing about their problems, hearing about their mother in laws. Why don't we just break into the prince's pl- tower? <laughs> I mean, I'm not I mean, against that, but uh, you don't have to come. You could rest a little, and then and then we could break into the prince's tower. I just, I really would love to know what I need to know. Gally wants some of that dank incense. That's what's going on. <laughs> yeah, if you give me that dank incense, maybe I'll I'll be more uh, inclined to follow along. <laughs> it's myrrh. What are you guys talking about? Myrrh. Myrrh. Dank myrrh. incense and myrrh. 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 It's a fun word. I'm cleansing the confessional. <laughs> exactly. Sure. Yes, there's there were so many sins in here. They need to be cleansed out. Big <laughs> cobalt sins. All right. So many cobalt sins in this cobalt confessional. <laughs> um, what kind of day is it? Yeah, um, I was just wondering that. It is approaching uh, nighttime. Okay. Evening. So everyone's probably about, they're probably making dinner, huh? Yeah. Maybe if the prince is out having dinner, we can sneak into his place unbothered. That's a good idea. I think that's the two options, right? Do that or go to dinner with everybody, see if there's any more intel. I like Which... the idea of sneaking in while he's eating. Yeah, but you don't know if they uh, take his dinner to his tower or if he comes out to eat with the peasants. That's true. Yeah. Probably or, he doesn't. Does he, I, I doubt he comes to eat with the peasants, <laughs> but he, he might. <laughs> he doesn't sound like the nicest guy. Yeah, yeah considering we're here to take back something he stole. Yeah. Right. Something he <clears> stole <throat> for an Another assassination question. plot. Right. For an assassination plot, yes. Yeah. Uh, while we are sitting in our little chamber, do I have the same feeling that I had previously? No. Should I... No? Okay. Well... Uh, should we, maybe, if it's getting to be evening, maybe we should go to the dining hall, or whatever you call it. Gather intel, like Ishmael said. Some intel, some plates, you know, just (laughs) the usual stuff. Sausage. (laughs) Are you hungry, Gally? Mutton, maybe. (laughs) What what do they eat? What, pomegranates and fey? I don't know. Yeah, pomegranates, maybe some butter, some nice, good, fresh bread. I, what? <laughs> Did you ask me a question, Kelly? <laughs> okay, let's go to dinner. <laughs> okay, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> this is where we abandon the quest and just live as simple castle peasants. Yeah. <laughs> if you want yeah, to, you could fun. do that. It we'll is play. D&D. You can do whatever you want. But... Yeah. I don't think that would make a very um, captivating show. <laughs> Three months later. <laughs> they're, they're just 
acting like clergy. <laughs> <laughs> the spy report. Just doing like day the in, day out minutia of cl clergy work. <laughs> In a, well, then we get to know all the intricacies of the relationships of all the other people there. Oh, yeah. All the workplace drama happening between all the servants. Who's, it just turned who into the who, office. Who slept with who. Yeah. yeah, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Ready to keep track of all that, Vaughn? No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Go do crime. Michael Scott. <laughs> Hashtag be gay, do crime. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag gay, 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 gay. Hashtag gay. <laughs> I believe that's a G and then 17 A's and then a Y. Mm -hmm. At gay. least one. <laughs> yeah, just like R slash trans with like 12 yeah, yeah. A's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So I think we're going to dinner, right? <laughs> Mashed potatoes, maybe some roast meat. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a question for for Cat, not uh, for <laughs> Galley. Are you hungry? What? What do you ask? No reason. No reason what? at all. All right. That's a strange question. <laughs> it's coming out of nowhere. <laughs> sure. Completely out of left field. Absolutely. All right. Maybe some fruit balls. I hope there is ice cream. <laughs> uh, Ein Sommer <laughs> turns to look at Larva and <laughs> just says, she, she does this as we walk. <laughs> and you're singing to yourself. Yes. <laughs> Under start. <laughs> you, fo you follow the map to the dining hall and you find that it is already full of so many fae there's like there's like the like a din of noise just uh of everybody talking to each other nice and uh ein Sommer, you notice some like stares and points like oh my god is that a dragon that's so cool he's a dragon <laughs> <laughs> he kind of just like does the <laughs> <laughs> looks anywhere but <laughs> yeah so what's the setup is it like there's just one big table do we see any princely looking characters um it's it's kind of similar to uh the the feast that you went to at the summer court where there are several long tables mm -hmm. and um there is an elevated table at the front of the room, uh, but you don't see any princely characters there. Mm. Mm. So he does mm. have a he does have a but chair there, but he's just not in the chair. And does his is table clean? Like no one has been there. Uh no. It's uh there uh, other people are still sitting there like you see Martha up there. Mm. And Martha uh Washington. Other people <laughs> that that you assume are like higher rank in the uh in the castle. Like maybe okay. the guard captain and a couple other fay. Am am I considered higher rank? No. <sighs> We're not. I thought we were exalted. We're exalted. Um. Well, you... could we make that assumption and go sit with them, <laughs> and then they can tell us if we are or not? Uh, no. You yeah, like I mean, yeah. You can. You can go ask Martha if you want. I, I mean, like that. That would be a um. Kind of an expected question. Since okay. No, nobody showed you here and told you what uh what it would be like. Um. So she she kind of expects you to come over and talk to her. Okay. Martha. Um. Where do I sit? Um. The 
I don't know. So <laughs> Oh, oh sure. So she tells me, us. Yeah, she she tells you. Um and uh But Martha, where's the prince? I thought we were gonna get to meet him. Oh, he he does he only really comes down here and eats with us on special occasions. Oh. When's the next special occasion? Um, Just out of curiosity. Not suspicious. Well, it's uh <laughs> Samhain. So smooth. Samhain, I believe, is next. Oh, are we gonna dress in costumes? Are we gonna be fun and spooky? Uh yes. She like she's a little confused because she assumes that you know fall court customs. Like <laughs> like Samhain and Samhain, for those who don't know, is Halloween. Mm. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Spooky. Mm. No better time to celebrate Halloween than April 9th. <laughs> True. <laughs> well, it's not I mean, Samhain next. 30. Or yet. Um, for us, next, I believe, is uh, Beltane, May 1st. Nice. Okay. So about a month away? Yeah. So we got some long game going on here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good thing we didn't try to sneak into, I don't say this in game, but it's a good thing we didn't try to sneak into the Prince's Tower because he's there right now, probably. Yeah. I think he's probably scary and strong. <laughs> uh, so so do, do we go and sit by ourselves? That's up yeah, we, get a little, we get a fold out kitty's table in the corner. <laughs> Uh, We're yeah, exhausted. I, I will say that that you do. Uh, there is a a spot for you uh, that's not a part of the chaos of the servants uh, that that you can choose to sit in or not. I, I would I like to because I have a plan. I would like to discuss with you too. Absolutely. I'm there. Yes. Well, first, first, I kind of check to make sure no one's listening, and then I lean in and we're like, okay, so. Prince doesn't come out of his tower, but if we are going to find that dagger, we need to get into that tower. So we need to do something that draws the prince out, and then right. we can go in. Right. We set fire to it. N n <laughs> <laughs> there are two types of people. <laughs> <laughs> I, guess, I guess I'm on Maquette's side, because... I don't think that's a bad idea. But if we set fire to it, then we can't go into it because it's on fire. I suppose. Oh, can't you walk? <laughs> can't you walk through fire? Uh, can I? I actually don't know. Do you know, Vaughn? Off the top of my head, no. It I don't would, think it I'm would say through. on your uh, character sheet in the top right under uh, like resistances, Resistance. if you're resistant or immune to fire. I have uh, oh um I have res I'm resistant to fire. I'm not immune to it. Yeah. Well, that's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, we can think I, of something else. Let's use yeah, that for Plan B. <laughs> yes, Let's fire will be Plan idea. B. Yeah. Yes. We'll uh put we'll put a pin in that. Um <laughs> what could we do that ooh, what if um we since we're, you know, uh new to the clergy, uh what if we throw like a welcome festival type of deal? Yeah. Uh, that's like, a great idea. Uh and see but the problem is, I don't know if that's a big enough occasion to get him to come out, you know, because she said he only comes out on very special occasions. Well, but also we have to keep in mind that if we throw a festival, people would expect us to be there. So we would have to set it up to give us an excuse to have one of us not there. And that's who's going to look for the dagger. Right? Well, well what if? Now, follow me on this one, because I know it's cobalt sacrilege. We fake a miracle. Oh, I like it. What sort of miracle? Crap, I thought you were going to... I didn't, hoped you wouldn't ask me that. Um, <laughs> All I need is a miracle. All I need is a miracle. It might also be hard to... 
because I believe the elven folk are, are predisposed to miracles. Shit. Like they can he like heal and stuff. So um it might not be as special for them. Not like a talking leaf or something. Oh. <laughs> that does how, how do you propose we miracle a talking leaf, sir? Oh, I can probably make it move. Hold on. <laughs> there you think go. about it. Ah uh, no, I don't have that kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Yes. No, I, I like this idea that uh, a miracle or, oh, or something that's a, that's a big enough deal to get to get him to come down. Well, we know he stole the dagger on behalf of someone, right? Uh, well, I thought he was going to use it on someone. Gregor stole the the dagger. Gregor and Nix stole the dagger on behalf of Prince Arian. Oh, so the prince is planning to use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. What if... No, that'd be... That's too confrontational. I was going to be like, we could, like, march up to him in all our, you know, clergy righteousness and be like, we know what you did, sinner. Don't do I don't want to do that. Oh, like <laughs> no. that. That's not a good idea. <laughs> He's a heretic. We should burn him. <laughs> Uh, what oh, is with you and fire, sir? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no reason. No reason. Uh, is this enough of a miracle? And, oh, can let me see your leaf. I, I hand you my random leaf that fell in my reliquary. And I, um, I, like, take it and I make it turn colors. In I my hand. I think that's just basic magic. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's basic it's very, magic. It's very pretty, don't get me wrong. Uh, we, need, we need to do something. Like, make it, like, say truths that nobody has heard before. Okay. I don't know if I can make it talk. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's a hard one. Yeah. I don't, I don't I think be I like, let me, either. Yeah, I want to be like, let me, I pull out my cell phone and put it underneath and just play YouTube videos or something, but, like, <laughs> I wanted that to be a one-bit gag. But, oh, but... the cell phone never comes up again? <laughs> yeah, no, we just don't mention it. <laughs> World-breaking technology. And and again, we're just like, ah, it's probably fine. <laughs> Martha, Martha, what's your Wi-Fi password? <laughs> what's, uh, oh. what's Wi-Fi? N oh, just... Never mind, she's kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't even know what that means myself. <laughs> Of She's just saying gibberish. She does we're back that. to the fire idea. We can just burn the place. Who brought us back to the fire idea? I didn't. Did All you? the other ones fell through. What else will we have? I can snuff out fire. So, but no, I, I don't think this is a bad idea with the talk and leaf. We could set it up like a sort of um, Wizard of Oz kind of situation where you don't look at the person behind the thing. You know what I mean? It's this... Uh, it's this uh, story I was told once, Wizard of Oz. We need to set up a scenario that's specific enough to get Mr. Prince worried and or intrigued enough to come investigate it, but not so specific that we get caught out for our lie. Does that make sense? Like, like if we, if we set up... Uh, this is a bad idea, but if we set up a booth, it was like, if you have a stolen dagger... Come to come to here for information. Something like that. Do you know what I mean? Something targeted to him specifically, but doesn't seem specific. I like the stolen uh, dagger idea. Yes. What's the no, that prince? was just an example. That's it. <laughs> um, we can start does... leaving uh, paper around, like 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 leaflets around, saying, "What if confess ooh, your on, sins? On, we know on. about the dagger or something." Oh, con confess your sins for. For they are sharp as a dagger. <laughs> yeah, alluding to it, right? Confess your yeah. sins, otherwise they will cut you like a dagger. <clears throat> yes, I like that. Um, or uh, we could... The dagger of sin uh, severs you from heaven. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, both heaven. So, Leave heaven. So we can work on getting that, but we do know that we've got a, a, another thing in about like three weeks. He's coming down. We know that. Uh, was, did 
has our task did the spring queen put a time limit on our task <laughs> i don't remember Summer? i swear to god no. if you make me wait here three weeks i am gonna burn the place down <laughs> i believe that so my alternate <laughs> question <laughs> is does do you think the prince likes music are you gonna are you gonna are you gonna the pipe piper him pipe piper. Oh. that's it thank you yeah, I could, maybe, I don't know. Or that could be part of the miracle, or that could be part of the celebration. I mean, I, I don't mind the idea of a welcome party, and I could probably, if he likes music, I could distract him. I, I got banners in my bag. We could do this. All right. Banners? Huh. Like ribbons. Like what? Ribbons. Oh, I do love you it. Do have a bag of holding? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm just coming up with shit. Come on. <laughs> no. I was genuinely like, like that could be useful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just turn it upside down and let it, anyway. Um, see what, see what, what falls if, out. What if, because this whole dagger thing is part of a larger conspiracy, right? What if we say that we can determine the future because of our, our clerical training and like... Make make the prince want to know what is, he thinks will happen with this whole plan he has, and then have him come to us. Does the that make sense? The one thing I don't like about being a DM is that I have a plan. <laughs> but <laughs> I have an idea for a plan, but I'm the DM, so I can't give that to you. I mean, Sin can yeah. suggest it to us. Could we make uh? Could we make it seem like the palace is haunted? And that the ghost must be exercised. And then we exercise the ghost from every tower but his, forcing him to leave it. No? Maybe? No, we'll I, I like the spirit of this idea. Maybe, maybe we can, um, you know, maybe we can be like, oh, um, we sense a very evil presence. We think it's coming from the prince's tower. Any anyone who's in that tower needs to needs to uh, evacuate it while we bless it. Do you know what I, I mean? That idea, and uh, and I think we definitely should do that in tandem with the flyers because I like the flyers. <laughs> oh my god! We'll sort of. Uh, I believe they do that in Hamlet, right? They do the play in front of. Right. Yeah. What's Hamlet? Oh, that's uh, a great question. It's another story I was read as a child <laughs> from another place. Um... That sounds like this guy, William Shakespeare. Shake <laughs> 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 um. Okay. Will so... Gold Cole. <laughs> there you go. So okay, here's here's my pitch. We throw our little welcome party. And while we have everyone's attention, we, we like, you know, do a religious ceremony or something. And that's when we're like, ooh, we sense a great evil in the prince's tower. Anyone there should evacuate at once while we bless it. And then I'm thinking, because he, he points to his little cobalt friend, he's like, you've got the robes, and I'm not very sneaky. So I think the two of us stay here to continue the ruse while you... Galley, after the tower's been evacuated, you go up there to bless it and see if you can find the dagger or at least something leading to it. Sure. I put a plus two stealth. What what do uh, each of you have? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I have plus four to stealth. Oh, I didn't realize that. So maybe it should be me who goes up <laughs> to the tower. I just thought, you know, I'm the most... I, I stick out the most, but I'm also also the most stealthy, so it's a toss up. <laughs> if I put my armor on, I have disadvantage. Mm. I have uh, very good. Uh, I could distract people. That is true. So, so you two could stay down here. Well, if, if if this works, if it gets the prince out of his tower, then you two could stay down here while I go up and try to find the dagger or any clues or anything. Well, hang on. What's everybody's investigation? Mine's plus two. Two for me as well. Zero. <laughs> Do you have zero on everything? No, I got a uh, plus four perception, but only not in direct sunlight. Insight. <laughs> persuasion. Persuasion I can see. 
Persuade? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, I was always okay. persuaded to burn the place down, so. <laughs> well, then, yeah, I guess, I guess I could be the one to go up. Um, okay, so why don't... Uh, how much time is left for dinner, Vaughn? Have people started to leave yet? Uh, no, nobody's started to leave yet. Um, but you can see people are making good headway on their food. Why don't we um, tell everybody that we're having a, a welcome ceremony, I don't know, tonight, tomorrow? And, no, do it um, tomorrow so we have a day to prepare. Yeah. Okay, how about tomorrow night after after dinner? come to the main castle courtyard for a um a welcome blessing Why not and then the when we're when we're blessing that's when we can be like "Ooh, evil sensed over here everybody clear out clear out i like it i like it but i like it to be in the chapel that makes more sense yes <laughs> and i'm gonna i could do the fire and brimstone thing we got this all right great and I can I can do some fun tricky things to make it look like there's something happening in the tower. <laughs> Ooh, you know? that's a good idea. Yeah, like flashing lights or something to be like, yeah. "Ooh, evil." Ah. Maybe a few that's weird a... vines growing out of it, you know? Cool. Nice. I like it. I like it. I like this plan, you guys. This is good. We're we're going to do this and Ein Sommer smashes his his fist down on the table and and, and the makes a huge echo in the whole room. <laughs> the whole room goes quiet and like looks over at you. Yeah, like like Hello? when you're in a lunch room and somebody drops the and then, tray. <laughs> and then you start he hearing murmurs of is that a dragon? <laughs> Hello, it's nice to meet you. We are the new clergy of the castle. It's nice to meet you. Perfect. Should I do the announcement now? Yes. And while we have your attention oh my God. Will, Will, do you want me to do it? Uh, yes, do it. <laughs> all right. So I wasn't sure. Uh, while we have your attention, we would like to invite everyone to the chapel tomorrow evening as a way to welcome and bless our new relationship. So please do come uh, at the, when should, when should they come, guys? Right after me, dinner time tomorrow. Oh. Right after. Why not huh? early during the day? Uh, oh, oh sure. Uh, just oh, before noon. noon time. There you just go. Before, just before noon time before tomorrow. Noon time. Yep. And Come meet the dragon in the flesh. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> everyone starts murmuring excitedly. Praise oh, Leaf God. <laughs> Praise Leaf God. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I make some leaves. I, I make the sound of leaves fly through the room. Nice. Cool. What kind of reaction do we get? Uh, at the at the sound of leaves, everyone cheers. Oh, oh I like advice. that. Wow. So I do it more, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and maybe maybe I'll uh, end the meal with a little song. I'll pull out my lute and sing them a little song. Okay. Make a performance check for me, please. That's a 16. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. It is a good performance. You feel very confident about it. People are vibing to it. Love it. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, somebody <laughs> asked me to stop playing Wonderwall all the time. You know what I said? I said, maybe. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> well, right. on that note, should we retire for the evening? I think so. And that's oh. our show. I mean, that's Galley saying that to the people. <laughs> and Summer does some, like, golf claps. Uh, can I grab Martha as we... Like, are all headed out? Sure. Hey, hey, Martha. Uh, just a quick question. What are the chances we can get, like, members of the, the royals to come to the ceremony tomorrow night? I'd like to do a blessing and make sure we're all, like, you know, endowed with leafiness.
uh, she says, I will, I will talk to the prince about it. The, the king is currently away, um, but I will speak to the prince. Okay. Uh, he is very spiritual. I believe he will want to come, but he is also unpredictable. So I will speak Aww. with him and try to get him to go. Understood. Sounds good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And I mean, it's family. <laughs> yeah, we'll retire for the evening, right? On that note. Yeah. On that note. <laughs> and I think that is a good place to take a break. Okay. okay. Yes. Sounds good. All, All right, right, chat. We will be right back. After Don't these messages, be right back. Okay.
Hello, everybody. Hello. I hope you enjoyed your break. I hope you stood up and stretched a bit. Um, I'm sorry the break was so long. I am, I move slow. Uh, so where we left off, um, we, everyone, they, uh, they invited everyone to the chapel for the next day for a welcome ceremony and a blessing. Blessing. And they asked uh, Martha, who is the uh, manager, I guess, of uh, <laughs> the man. She manages the castle. She's the HBIC. Yeah, head bitch in charge, definitely. Um. Yeah, she's the HBIC, and uh, uh, they asked her to um invite the prince. And she said she she pretty much said she can't make any promises, but she will let him know. Indeed. Yep. And then you guys were turning in for the night. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. But I will be ripping up every sheet in my room and oh, uh, folding God. them together to make ribbons. Sure. That okay. makes sense. All right. So that's that's where we are. That's what we're doing. <laughs> long rest o'clock. Mm -hmm. Time for a long. Not that we've used anything, but yeah. <laughs> yeah today is a heavy RP episode. <laughs> oh, good with it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We could still burn down the castle. We could. <laughs> Plus, if we had approached it in a different way, it might have been very different. <laughs> mm -hmm. Roll for burning down castle. <laughs> It's, it's Cobalt's Razor, the easiest path forward. Burn it down. Oh. Cobalt's Razor. <laughs> the only... Here it comes. The Here only... comes the Razor. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm cool with skipping to the next morning, but unless unless yeah, there's good. anything else we want to do before bed. Mm, there is, actually. Okay. Oh, what? Hmm. I'm going to stay up until about midnight. I don't know. It might be too far away. Oh, tell me you're sneaking 30... out. You sneak out. Oh, maybe. My idea was I, want, I would love to get close enough to the prince's tower that right at midnight, I want to move some rocks around in a sort of creepy way and just spook him a bit. Um, but Mold Earth is a 30-foot range. Is there, like, could I go on the roof and get into range that way? Only one way to try. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, there's, um, there are walkways mm -hmm. along the, uh, along the roof, uh, for, like, you know, archers and things like that that you could utilize. All right, so I'm going to try to do it. Okay. Oh, 19 stealth. All right. Yep. Nobody sees you. Yes. So then. I think you have to <laughs> physically move the rocks, though. Because this will only last for an hour. Um, But I think it's. Hold on. Let me read about it. Uh, I can cause shapes, colors, or both to appear on the dirt or stone. Uh, yeah. And I can kind of move it, like, I can move them out a little bit. Like, I'll, maybe I'll make them all, ooh, I'll make it look like uh, blood is falling down the rocks. And I'm going to make the rocks move out a little bit in his bedroom, right at the stroke of midnight. Ooh. Okay. Cool. What spells You're doing this are you using to the prince's that? tower? This is mold earth. What? Okay. You're doing this to the prince? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> I want to freak him out a little bit. So he needs some spiritual guidance. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 
she's she already said he's pretty spiritual so that is um, true she did say that i can cause shapes and colors to appear on the stone and make it difficult to rain so i feel like the difficult to rain is pulling it out just a little bit from the wall not in a way that like causes any real damage and it's an illusion anyway and then the colors will just be red like looking like it's falling down the wall red the blood of angry men <laughs> fuck i'm not in the right note the dark of ages past red the color of yep. the dawn black the color of despair <laughs> Uh, Marius. <laughs> Marius, anyway. you're late. What's wrong today? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Anyway. <laughs> Gosh, I used to know all these words and now I don't. Me too. I, I want to sing along. Yeah, I used to know every word to lay this. Same. <laughs> Didn't we all? <laughs> so, I, so I get this. It's set up to last for the hour, and then I'll sneak back to bed. Okay. Do I need to do a second stealth check to get home, or no? No, your first stealth check uh, was uh, very good, so I will let you use okay. it. Great, because I really was hoping that was the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, then I go to sleep. All right. Is there anything else that anyone would like to do before we fast forward to the next morning? Oh, I'm Summer's out. He just like Yeah. All this espionage is uh wearing on him. <laughs> yeah, he's he's not used to having to think on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what about um Larva? Oh, he's just happily like Semi crocheting the blankets into ribbons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the next morning dawns, and the castle is hustling and bustling. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are the cleaning staff is everywhere cleaning, um, doing their morning rounds and uh you have uh other servants walking from one station to the next station mm -hmm. uh at shift change and some of the overnight servants are headed to bed is anybody talking about anything not really okay you do they hear no buzz. talking about Bruno because we don't no, talk no, about Bruno. No, no, no. Um, uh, you do hear a couple <laughs> people like, "I'm so excited for the ceremony tonight. I think it's going to be really cool." Oh, did you oh hear but that? it's this afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Before noon, we only have like two hours probably until. <laughs> Uh, I wanted to do it in the evening time. <laughs> we need to have the sun out. It's going to be nice. No, you're you right. You have disadvantages on things when the sun is out. But it's a leaf blessing. <laughs> it made but sense in my also, head. It's fall, so leaves can be pretty at night, and it's probably nighttime by like 6 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> true. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just going to go hang my ribbons, and it's going to look pretty. I mean, we have already told everyone 11 a.m., though. Hang on. Where did you get those ribbons? Found them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need to insight check that. <laughs> um... <laughs> okay. Whatever. <laughs> it's okay, I... It's going off to the chapel. <laughs> it seems we're of two minds. Uh, Pally, you don't want to do it in two hours. Oh, I'm I'm cool with whatever time. Uh, just, oh. 
I, I thought we told people like, do we say just before or just after lunch? I forget. Just before noon. Just before noon. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's let's shall we go get ready? Sure. I want to see what's going on. I just want to see if I have any feelings in the breakfast room. If there's any okay. princes there just wanting solace from the creepy things, you know. <laughs> no, I just wonder about that sometimes. Me too. So any princes looking for solace from creepy things in the dining room? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I'll grab a muffin. Okay. And then let's get ready. <laughs> okay. So time passes as you get ready and um, decorate the chapel. And, uh, Maquette, I am assuming that Larva is, um, Getting the ch the uh, the chapel ready for the blessings, yes. specifically. Yes. All right. Do it. We heard from Martha whether the prince is planning on coming. No, you haven't seen Martha yet today. I'd like to look for Martha before we start. Okay. You find her in the kitchens directing the staff. Uh, great. Um, <laughs> uh, hello, Martha. I was just wondering if you'd heard from the prince. Is he planning on coming? It's very auspicious in our ceremonies to have everyone, particularly the leadership there. So I just wanted to check in on that. Uh, I believe he was planning on coming. Oh, great. Mm, it'll be great to meet him. You All right. That. Great. Uh, well, you know, I am the part of the team that brings the spiritual energy, so I have to be a little more loving. You know, mm -hmm. I have to love them all. Mm -hmm. All right, Miss Martha. Uh, I'll see you there. And as I leave, I make the sound of leaves. You see her put her hand over her heart. She's like <laughs> looking around. <laughs> is this how easy it is to start a cult? <laughs> In fairy it is. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Uh, oh, Kat, do you have thunderclap? Let me check. I think I do. Yes, I do. Okay, then let's say that at midnight, um, right at midnight, as you made everything happen, you also had a thunder. You also made thunder happen. Yeah, I love that. Mm -hmm. Thunder. Okay. Feel the thunder. Lightning, Lightning and thunder. And thunder. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. We don't even have to, uh, to lure him out. It sounds like he's going to come on his own. Well, you could say that we did learn him out by creeping him out. <laughs> that was mostly you. <laughs> we're, all, we're all part of this team. Because we had to have all the this together. Sorry. And he was he was inclined to go to the ceremony anyway. So if I gave him a little extra push, I was just helping him along. Right. Are we ready? Shall we do it? I'm ready. Think, yeah. The question is, are you ready? You're the one. How are you sneaking out? Oh, sorry. One moment. I don't know what happened to my voice just then. <laughs> <laughs> are you sneaking out? How Do you have your plan down for sneaking? Have I they? was worried about that because I think... They're going to notice that you're not there. Yes. So what I think needs to happen is we'll start the ceremony and I'll be there. And then you do something amazing with your performance, no pressure. And uh, while everyone is enraptured by your playing, that's when I'll, I'll take my leave. Ah, uh, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking 
But I assume we're, we're having this conversation in a secluded place away from prying ears. Um, I'm looking for the dagger. Uh, is there anything else I should keep an eye out for? Anything else I should think about while I'm in there? I mean, I, I can't know. tell you. No, I, I know. I'm asking my party members. <laughs> <Okay>. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, uh, I our job was to, to find the dagger, but I suppose if you see anything suspicious, maybe take a little mental picture. Wouldn't it be nice if you had like a small sort of rectangular device that you could sort of store information <laughs> on? Yeah, I don't know where I'd find something like that, Larva. Yeah, I don't know either. <laughs> God, damn it! <laughs> like a macro, we have this thing called a GoPro, but I don't. I don't have that. <laughs> you have a Cobalt GoPro. <laughs> a co a Go Cobalt a Pro. Cobalt Pro. A GoPro. Co a GoPro. A GoPro. <laughs> Oh, and remind me later, I do want to touch base with Martha about our pay, because I'd like to negotiate my salary. So I'm just going to need to make sure that I know exactly what's coming in and when, you know? Yeah. Oh, um, Larva, did she mention anything about pay when you were talking to her? No, this is a volunteer position. What? I, ah, see, that's why, lucky thing you have me, I'll negotiate us some pay, don't you worry. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, don't you worry. I mean, yeah. I might have a few fees involved uh, because my services are valuable, of course. So we'll discuss it later, though. No, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got this at hand at the moment. So we'll figure out how the money is divided fairly or not uh, later. Or if anyone has to pay for any sort of sins. <laughs> what? It's that sins. That's regular sins, not call boat sins. <laughs> right. <laughs> I go hey, bounding off things. back to like the clergy. Are we those, are we those oh, grifters no. who like charge people to get into heaven? <laughs> Let's not get into it now. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do our thing. So um, here here's a quick thing that that we should probably uh, think about, guys. I don't know anything about what a religious ceremony for this would look like. Well, that's my job. No. Do you, do, do you know anything about what a religious ceremony for yeah. this would look like? Yeah, absolutely. What That's should right. we do? Yeah, oh, what right. should we do? Hand it to me. I'm going to tell you when to start playing your flute, and uh, you'll have your eight-hour flute solo. Eight um, hours. That's what I always did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Great. It's like, it's like a whole music festival just for me. <laughs> <laughs> You you really you cottoned on to that idea real fast. <laughs> You're yep. very much on board, it looks like. As I said, dream come true. <laughs> Great. Uh I'm ready. Are you ready? What time is it? Where is everyone? Uh as you say that people start to trickle in. Like in oh, they no. come in droves. Oh. Oh my. And I gotta, uh I gotta get ready. I'll be in the clergy. Before you know okay. it, all the pews are filled up except for the one in the very front. And uh once everyone else is settled in, uh you hear trumpets and in walks the prince <gasps> escorted by his guard up to uh -huh. his pew in the front. Uh I bow. Me too. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, and I, I'm sort of playing uh, entrance music on my pan flute, like as everyone's coming in and mm -hmm. playing the house music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he, uh, after he sits down, he kind of closes his eyes and starts like swaying to the music a little bit. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. So the prince has uh, black hair and black eyes. Oh. And very pale white skin. Um, he kind of looks like a lich. <laughs> He's not a lich, but he looks like one. What's a lich? Huh. What? What's a lich? 
it's I well the way like the way I see it I well okay I don't know what a lich is. It's an undead creature. Yeah. Oh. Can't like yeah like I I yeah that's pretty much all I knew about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got it. Oh shit. <laughs> As I scramble, I am a Dungeons and Dragons D and or D and D DM who does not know what a lich is. <laughs> That's all right. D and DM. Yeah. Here's what I found on the interwebs. Oh, that's the lich yeah. from uh, uh, Adventure Time. Oh. Huh. <laughs> Adventure Time, come on, grab your friends. We'll go to very distant lands. So he has a very oh. striking and creepy appearance. Hmm. Huh. Striking and creepy. Those are definitely two adjectives you want to use to describe your prince. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'd like, can I, can I just do like an insight check? See if I can feel any sense Heartbeat. any, I don't know. Heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> 20. Yeah. Dirty 20. Uh, with a 20. He, uh, you get a feeling that he is dangerous. I'll be right back, you guys. Okay. Okay. He's got bad vibes. Yeah, he's like got that. he's got bad vibes, and uh, you kind of feel like a little bit of what you felt in the King's Tower. Mm, like that, he's like, watching me. Yeah, like that, like creepy kind of um, menacing presence that is. Definitely very vigilant. Mm hmm Cool. Okay. Okay. All right. I think it's time to start the ceremony, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I kick down the door for the clergy chamber into the main chapel. <laughs> and I have leaves glued to me, head to toe. I just shall praise be the leaf god. As you do that, I'm going to make leaf sounds go through the whole place. Are people responding? What's the vibe? Yeah, the vibe is like you hear like. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, this is the best crowd. Gotcha. All right, yeah. so <laughs> I go up to the pulpit and I'm like. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, I should have prepared. Um, <clears throat> we are here today to praise the leaf god and to welcome us, the new priest, and our acolytes of the new priest who are volunteer. They do not get paid. Oh my god. I'm negotiating that. <laughs> Excuse me. That's a sin. Anyway. <laughs> I'm a sinner. <laughs> we, Sorry. Please go ahead. We, we are calling on leaf god power to bless our prince and the royal family and the kingdom of fall. May the leafiness be with us. I don't know shit about this religion. I'm just going to go on for that for a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. punctuate with leaf sounds whenever it seems appropriate. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. My gain yeah. is not picking me up whenever I go, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> 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 and um, let's see, what else can we do? I mean, I think it, you could probably just have like a sermon, yeah, right? We put on some sort of like show thing, mm -hmm. maybe we can even call the prince up. <laughs> I don't think we should do that. He seems dangerous. He's got bad vibes. Yeah, yeah I, I do. You're right. And now, to bless the leaf god, to receive the blessings of the leaf god, our eight hour pan flute solo. <laughs> that is Please my moment to shine. Come forth, expert pan flutist. Pan flutist. Okay. I definitely uh, make this an entrance. Like, I don't just walk up. This is my time to shine. Yeah. So, it's a whole thing. This is what you were born to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, and, uh, yeah, then I start playing. 
and uh, enrapturing the peoples. All right. Starts a little slow and epic. Eventually, it's going to be kind of a dance party thing, but, you know, we got to get the vibe there first. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the goal is to whip everyone into a dancing frenzy. Prince included. <laughs> you can dance. You can jump. Having the time of my time life. Of my life. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, while you're doing that, I'm just like swaying like a leafy tree. I love it. It's on stage. And I I wait till she's a good way into her performance and I kinda surreptitiously glance around and then slip away. Alright, so let's uh let's switch our attention then to Einsommer. And uh so you you sneak away and you go to the Prince's Tower. Mm-hmm. And uh, what what do you do? I look for a likely place a dagger would be. Is that an investigation rule? Yes. Okay. Pray for me, people. Ooh, I have an advantage on this. Great. 20. Dirty 20, baby! Okay, so you find the prince's chambers, and you start oh. um, looking around, rummaging around, trying your hardest not to like put anything out of place. And uh, you find the dagger <gasps> in, <laughs> in the prince's bedroom in a locked chest. Okay, well, it's not locked. It looks like it's locked, but when you try it, it's actually unlocked. Um, in a in a chest in his bedroom. Okay, before I pick it up, mm -hmm. I want to roll an Arcana check if I can to make sure, you know, as soon as I touch it, I won't get cursed or something. Okay. Would that be Arcana or something else? That would be Arcana. Okay. I have an advantage on this, too, because of Hunter's Bane. That's a 15. 15? Um, yeah, it doesn't seem like a cursed object, but you definitely, there is magic coming off of it in droves, but uh, okay. it's a magic that, it's a kind of magic that you don't recognize. Okay, well, um... I slip it into my pocket. I do like you said, do my best to put everything back the way it was. Then I quietly slip out of the tower and then back down to the ceremony. Oh, um, before I do, I'm sorry. I just on my way out as I'm putting everything back, I just want to do a check to see if I see anything else interesting or eye-catching as I'm leaving. Uh, you see a picture of, like, a photograph of the king uh, with his face scratched out. Oh. Oh. Maybe. Okay. I kind of, like, I'm, like, leaving, and I, like, catch that on the way out, like... Okay. And then I, then I head out. <laughs> <laughs> and you also notice that there are a lot of leaves on the windowsills. Hmm. I wonder where those came from. <laughs> um. Do let's. I'm trying to think. Do I want to do anything else before I leave? Should I do anything else? I mean, I got the dagger. That's what we came here for. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, um, I, I take one last quick glance around, and then I slip out. Not to be that guy, but you always set the place on fire. 
<laughs> not to be that guy. You've been that guy this whole time. I mean, like, if you got the dagger and you're on a way out and you want to hide, like, evidence that you did shit. But, uh... I'm not setting it on fire. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Next time. Next time. <laughs> Next castle that we get employed at. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, I make my way back to the ceremony. Okay. That was nice and quick. <laughs> um, if you had taken much longer, uh, you might have been caught. But well, I rolled really great on my you did perception, so I got the dagger real quick. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yep. Excellent leave, work, me. We leave it up to the dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were feeling merciful today. Yeah. <laughs> At any point, did, like, oh, I'm sorry. At any point, did the prince or his bodyguard like react in any weird way? Did they seem like they were alerted or anything? No. No. Nice. Are they dancing? Are they dancing? Uh the the prince is swaying. Still with his with his eyes closed. Tell me he has his hands up. No. <sighs> I gotta work harder. Yeah, right. So as I'm playing, I take the flute out for a mi minute and I say, "Put your hands up!" And then I start playing again. Because <laughs> <laughs> now the vibe's more like doom, 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 doom. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And I have my hands up, and I'm pointing at people and saying Kobolson if they don't have their hands up. <laughs> and everyone's like, what the hell is a kobold? Sorry, Leafson. Leafson. <laughs> Leafson. 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 You get a Leafson. You get a Leafson. Everybody, Everybody get gets a Leafson. <laughs> Dr. Pepper Zero Sugar? Cherry. Oh. Cool. Yes, my favorite. Nice. So I kind of like surreptitiously, <laughs> holy shit, sneak back into the room and I give like, I think you're playing so you probably can't see, but I give our cobalt friend just a like little like, <laughs> and carry on. <laughs> I sway in a way that lets you know that uh, I saw that and acknowledge it. Just some interpretive dancing happening, so I do a little dance too. Yeah. <laughs> Finger guns, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that was that was more Roz's thing, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we we will carry on her her legacy in spirit or something. Absolutely. Yeah. So I keep playing for the promised eight hours, unless something else prompts me not to. <laughs> I'm keeping this ruse up. Nope. Yep. Eight I'm hours. I'm not interrupting. <laughs> That's what I was told I was doing. Sorry. What did you say, uh, Maquette? I said nope. I'm good. I'm not interrupting. Great. So it's basically just like a day at any music festival, except it's only me. Yeah. <laughs> So the, go through different genres. It's different, Gally's uh, dream. <laughs> Gally's dream fucking come true. Pardon my language. <laughs> All right, and uh, the prince stays the whole time. Yes. Wow. Oh, I wish I had merch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have anything I can sell? You could put out your case and like toss a coin in there just to. Ah, yes. Um, I'm going to pass a hat around at the end. Because, <laughs> you know, for the leaf god. Yeah. <laughs> so when your solo is over, uh, the prince stands up and walks to the altar and kneels down in front of it with his head bowed in front of um, uh, Larva. Waiting for his blessing because he was told he was going to be blessed. So yes, no, absolutely. Yeah. 
I take one of the gluey sticky leaves off of my body and stick it on his forehead. <laughs> like Ash Wednesday, but it's a leaf. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And uh, I use my light cantrip to just like light up the leaf itself, too. Okay. When I do it. I don't know. Mm hmm. There we go. Blessed. And of course, leaf sounds. Leaf sounds. Yeah. And everyone cheers. <laughs> and they're all saying, um, all hail Prince Arian as, as he gets blessed. All hail. All hail. And then I play on my lute. <laughs> <laughs> you play a sick guitar riff on your lute. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? All right. All right. So after the prince is blessed. Uh, he leaves and presumably goes back to his tower. Bye, Prince! And after he leaves, that's then everyone else starts to um, funnel out. Thank you all for coming. You know, we couldn't do this without you. We do this for you. But at the same time, it does get expensive, so if you feel like leaving something in the hat, Please do so. Thank you again. We appreciate you all. Thank you. As you very... heard earlier in the show, this is a volunteer position. So uh, anything you can give will not go to waste. We appreciate your kindness and generosity. Indeed. Indeed. You're making Larva so mean. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Did why we are you? Me? No, I made him mean. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Anyway, <laughs> back to the story. It's fun. It's part of the fun. <laughs> and you wonder uh, why you wonder why the squirrels hated your last character in Lost. Squirrels love me. What are you talking about? In Lost. <laughs> Did I shoot one? I think so. <laughs> you shot a squirrel? Uh, I think so. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> How much money live. did they leave? How much money did they leave us? Um, you got maybe 30 silver pieces and uh, two gold pieces. All right. Nice. And a coupon to Pizza Hut. So, 30, <laughs> so 50 silver, really, all together. Yeah. Someone and left a half-eaten Four of us. Uh, 12, uh, 12 pieces of silver each. Plus, um, fifty coppers. Nice, nice. <clears throat> Split four ways so everybody gets it. So has everyone left? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's very calmly and not suspiciously go back get up the fuck to out our, of here? What? our oh. tower. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we should get out me too of the kingdom let's just go like as soon as we can well but you guys don't know that i have the dagger yet we oh, right. do oh yeah oh yeah. No, that's right they gave us i get well oh you don't know because you were performing yeah I, I i give you a thumbs up too okay mm -hmm. we are leaving <laughs> yes right yeah let's go so you 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 bless and run mm -hmm. 100 <laughs> percent we don't want to give him time to find out it's gone. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, let's we we grab our stuff from our our room and we get the fuck out. Do we need to roll anything stealth? Uh, yeah, roll stealth for me. Oh, we definitely don't All want right. them to know we're leaving. Eighteen. Uh oh. Ooh, and a net oh. twenty. Uh, I got fourteen. Oh, that's right. Uh can 
You don't, can, are you lucky or anything, Jeff? <laughs> no? Okay. I mean, you guys did okay, so hopefully that's enough for me? <laughs> we could always, they might not know that we're leaving, leaving, right? And, mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can always you can always say like um off to do like some community service I need or more something. Leaves. We need <laughs> to bless the land as well. Now that we're the kingdom, mm -hmm. the kingdom. I like uh, Ishmael's explanation. We need more leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that too. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go to where our horses were tied up and uh, get out of here. All right. Okay, so where are you going then? Back to the edge of the forest where we left our cart. Yes, Metal but lady. after you get your cart and horses, then where are you going? We're taking it to where we were asked to take it. Back to the spring court, right? Summer. So, or the summer court, yeah. 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 To the summer court! To the summer court! Hey, Ishmael, want to come to the summer court with us? Oh, That's yeah. how we're getting home. That's Metal Lady, right? <laughs> hmm? Metal Lady. That's metal Lady, yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's where Metal Lady is. So, you in? Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm still, like, picking leaves off of my body. <laughs> You committed, my friend. You really did. I take this job very seriously. I believe. <laughs> okay, Guys, now there is a new line on the it. map. <laughs> to summer. That went surprisingly smooth. Yeah. No. Uh, not that had one. really good rolls, though. <laughs> yeah. In and out like the night. <laughs> like we were never there. Yeah. <laughs> what? what? Oh, oh, okay. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How so how long of a journey is it back to the summer court? It is about a week. Oh, oh. man. I mean Lots it's, of it's... bonding time for our for us and our new friend. Yeah, most <laughs> of it is forest traveling. So Okay. But well, we're definitely really hitting those horses hard at first, right? Like, yeah, we're we're not walking away. We're running. Yeah. Indeed. There's some pressing leaf matters to attend to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you reach it's the just, summer leaves, border. Man, they're, so, they're so leafy. <laughs> you reach the summer border within a few hours. Oh, dang. Great. And if you're if you're pushing it, if you're really pushing those horses, you you can get to summer quickly. Okay. Yeah. Good job, horses. Yeah. I give them a little treat or carrot or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I think once we're in summer. Maybe we should take a rest. It's nighttime. No, it's still daytime, right? Or no, it, no what time it's is it? definitely the nighttime by now. Yeah, let's uh, let's yeah, make camp. Yeah, the ceremony more, yeah. ended around like seven p.m. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because oh, it was eight hours. <laughs> eight hours of music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. You're probably still coming off the performers high, like, oh my gosh, guys, I <laughs> did. Yeah, I yeah. did that. Yeah, like the hours. whole ride, the whole ride on the on the carriage was. Did you see the prince was swaying to my music? He was really into it. <laughs> yeah, it yes, we did. <laughs> we saw it the it, last three times you asked about it too. <laughs> just making sure, okay? I'm just making sure. <laughs> um, but like his foot was tapping too, you know. Like I doubt that guy taps his foot a lot. <laughs> We're very proud of you, Gally. Um, it oh, I forgot my accent. Uh, <laughs> it also takes us a couple hours to get to the border, right? Mm -hmm. So it's probably the it's like the middle of the night. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, I think it's a good time to make camp. Yeah. Let's put up the tent and who shredded the tent? You have to ask. Do you have to ask? That's not right. Um, one course moment. Of course it's tell that. I, I, I know who it was. I just want to see if they admit it. Who shredded the tent? I just look around like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a, there's a rock over there. <laughs> there's a rock over there. <laughs> With clear claw marks. Whoa, what, wait, what? There's claw marks? Uh, on the shredded tent. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Fine. Oh, kind of looks down at uh, Galley's lack of claws and then looks over to <laughs> Larva's claws. Do kobolds have claws? Yeah. Uh, let's just come out and see it. Uh, Ishmael, you, you killed our tent. What are we going to sleep in? Oh, I have a tent for myself. I don't, I don't, I don't know about you guys. Why yeah. is Larva so mean? <laughs> it's a cardboard tent. Can we, can we visit this? Can we talk about this? <laughs> let's, let's unpack that. Yeah. That's, Why that's do you I'm have a tent for pack. yourself but no one else? Because it you start with an adventure kit. Sure, I, I uh, completely understand. That's how we got our tent, too. So uh, what I would like to know is, why is it okay for you to destroy our belongings and then not share yours? Oh, I see. Okay. And I just start ripping up my tent, too. <laughs> <laughs> you got me there. You got me there. Well, I suppose we could just lean on each other's backs. We're I'll gonna have build to watch. A fire. <laughs> I I only have to meditate for four hours, so I'll yeah, take not whatever. Me. I need I need my beauty sleep. I need my full eight hours. <laughs> Does that mean you'll be beautiful when you wake up? I'm just kidding. You're lovely. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. I, he's rubbing off on me. He's rubbing <laughs> off on me. Gross, I don't need to know what you two get up to in your private time. <laughs> oh, it's not that, don't worry. I'm sorry, my love. Have a good sleep. Mine's <laughs> calmer stomps off to gather firewood and doesn't look at anybody. <laughs> Why is it so easy to pick up on that energy? Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, no. All right. See, it's your first up episode, up. <laughs> and you're already so in Discord. In the Discord. <laughs> yes. so in Discord in, <laughs> on this day, in the Discord. <laughs> on this day. <laughs> well, um, is that a good stopping point for today, that, do we think? Going to bed? Or do we want to keep going? I'm, I'm cool with whatever, I'm just asking. It's up to you guys. Um, What's everyone feeling? Well, I will say our next episode uh, is the one for TogetherCon. So delivering mm -hmm. our dagger might be a good... Ho I mean, ho hopefully deli delivering our dagger might be good for that episode, don't you think? I'm thinking that. Yeah. That sounds good. Because we covered a lot of ground today. We did. We did. We yeah. Way to. more than good I good thought role. we were going to. <laughs> <laughs> Those good it's rolls, okay. man, they just prepared, make everything right? everything go. <laughs> we should have burned down the castle. It'll slow things down. <laughs> I don't want to kill Martha. She could have gone. Slow burn. Slow burn. Oh. It's a stone castle. It won't burn quickly, right? This is making me uncomfortable. <laughs> I told you we'll do fire next time. Yeah, yeah, we'll do fire next time. In the campfire. Um Yeah, here, here's fire right here. I'm building a campfire right now. There you, got you go. It. Yep. Stare into the flame and let it consume your soul. I don't Larva just calls it casts like burning hands into it. Oh, that's so helpful. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. They're better. And then well, um 
if it's if it's even burning over a little too much, I use um, uh, druid craft to kind of like not totally snuff it out, but just tame it a bit. A good idea. Burning hands is a fifteen foot radius. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> I was wow. gonna say you do a lot of damage with burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favorite spells in battle. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good, right? Yeah. All right. Good night, friends. We head off yeah. to sleep. All right. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Yay. Um, so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, so thank you everybody for watching today's uh episode of A Court Apart. Our next episode will be at will be live at TogetherCon on April twenty fourth, which is TogetherCon Day Two. Um at 8:30 p.m. I believe we'll be ending ending the uh we'll be finishing out the uh the convention. Nice. Well, fun. See? See, we're saving our good material then. Yeah. I don't know. I felt pretty good about today's no. episode. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But we're saving the end for or well, we're saving the a big moment for that that the climax, if you will. Cool. <clears throat> well, lovely playing with you all today. Most definitely, yeah, and thanks. Concerns. I'm definitely. I'm really a fan of the 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 new dynamic you've brought to the group. <laughs> I, I am too. I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I tend to bring a bit chaotic energy to D and D. Yes, you do. <laughs> Isn't that what we need? <laughs> I love <Yay>. chaos. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm glad. Let's get. Oh, I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while. Oh, I see. And it just starts tearing up his. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. I got to head out, but I will see you all on April twenty fourth, two days before my birthday. Yay! Yay! Thank you. I'll be thirty three. It's my Jesus year. Nice. Praise Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lord. We just got done with a whole ceremony about that through music. <laughs> yes. <laughs>